say throw the bat. That's exactly what Rinko did. It was wide. Perhaps he even could have been declared a wide, but he was committed. He went, uh, got underneath the ball, sliced it over. Well, wide third man for that boundary was a touch lucky because there was a fielder there, slightly square, couldn't make it in time and wouldn't have gotten to it anyway, unless he was 10 feet tall. But uh, valuable runs again. I say valuable because they've scored so many anyway. For Rinku Singh though, because he's faced only three deliveries and has come in at a time when he's used to it, but it's tough to get going because uh, he has the license, of course, six wickets in the dugout. Second delivery, it's a low full toss and hit towards extra cover. Well in front of square on the offside, but the result is the same. Six runs. Boundary and Beyond brought to you by Tilak Jewelers. DFW's most trusted jewelers since 30 years. And this is the reason I wouldn't have picked Norcher to bowl this over. I mentioned the other two bowlers because he's a pace on. That's what he really loves. But uh, Rinku once again taking a hand off that was wide, a low full toss. And Rinku might have let it go for a wide. He didn't. He threw his bat at it. Got six. This time it's a length delivery slash towards that deep cover sweeper. He's not attacking the ball. Aksar Patel lets it bounce. And one becomes two on Rick Nokia. Well, he's a bit displeased as is Rishabh Pant. If the ball is going to go six, then you have to reach the ball. But Aksar Patel is still in a defensive mindset there, Charu, sir. And they've picked up another couple. Well, it was sliced. And once that happens, you're never really sure where the ball is going to land. I'm going to defend Akshar by saying he was a little confused about where's the ball going to land. It was spinning away. And uh, then he perhaps decided, OK, I'm not going to overrun this. So at least he prevented uh, a boundary. And finally, of course, Rinku does leave one. All these balls were wide, at least two of them, but he got six runs each. Finally, it was just a shade too far away from his striking circle. Let's it go. It's a wide. And this is not a very good over by Andrik Norcha. And I, I really think uh, Rishabh Pant, a bit of an error here, should have gotten the bowlers who bowl either slow or have a good slower one. Norch has been once again pace on and he has been taken for plenty. And that 277, sir, our range mein aage, it's just about 23 runs away. Nine legal deliveries remaining. Nokia bowling to Rinku Singh round the wicket. This time it's in the slot and he's launched it over. Wide is long off. Huge towering into the stands. Add six to that one as well. Brought to you by Tilak Jewelers, DFW's most trusted jewelers since 30 years. Again, pace on. No, Andrik, no. Well, there was a quick delivery in the slot. Rinku went down on one knee on his left leg, and boy, did he hit that hard. Great bat speed. 85 meters into the stand. It was high, but it was also very long. Everybody in Vishakhapatna would have enjoyed it, except the Delhi Capitals and their fans. Oh. Shoulders are slumping. They can afford to smile now because uh, they, that smile meant that this match is completely out of the hands. What's going on here? Two balls left. Next delivery is on a length and punched away towards extra cover. It's hit the gap again and it's going to hit the fence again. Rinku Singh is obliterating Anrik Nokia. Four runs. Brought to you by Tilak Jewelers, DFW's most trusted jewelers since 30 years. But this time he does give it the off spin action, Norche, but it sat up a bit and allowed Rinku to again throw his bat at it because the length wasn't right. Once it got past the infield, so good was uh, that angle that it pierced uh, the gap between the outfielders. And uh, was a rather comfortable boundary. So last ball left. What do we have here? 12, 18, 20, 24, 25 runs. One ball to go. Norcha has been taken apart by Rinku Singh. And uh, Russell is at the other end watching. Final ball of the over. It's a low full toss. Chipped away towards mid on. David Warner has picked up a brilliant catch. 25 run khane ke baad. Nokia finally gets his revenge. And a brilliant catch by Warner at mid on. Rinku Singh, great innings, but you're out. How's that? Well, once again, a slightly off-pace delivery. Rinku trying to hit it on the offside. Played it too soon. 
And uh, it went reasonably quick to David Warner, who's not the tallest, at mid-on. Just had to time his jump uh, well enough. You even caught it without jumping, though. And uh, Rinko Singh's very important innings comes to an end. A great strike rate, without doubt. That was a knock that he played for the team, not for himself. Threw his bat at everything and uh, most of the time got away with it. Now, uh, who comes in now? Ayer? We'll see. But Russell is still there. He's 41 from 18 and will face the final over. Oh, no. Ishant. Two overs, 35 runs. Why not bowl Sumit just because he's less experienced? No, he's bowled well. Why not bowl Dar because he's less experienced? No, he's bowled well. Ishant, oh, well, I, you can argue that uh, he can pick up a couple of wickets here because you almost always do at the death people are swinging wildly. But he could be taken for plenty by Russell. Here we go then. Rishabh Pant rolls the dice. Ishant Sharma right in the block hole and he's got him right into middle and leg. Andre Russell has been cleaned up. Bowled by Ishant Sharma. What a delivery. How's that? Sir, Akhir Kisi ne aapki pukar soon heli aur wo the Ishan Sharma. Yeah, I'll have to say well bowled Ishan. Didn't expect it from him but it was the perfect Yorker. That's what you need to bowl to somebody like Russell who actually turned around and applauded that delivery by Ishan. Well played Andre Russell and I'm glad that you applauded a very, very good delivery. But he was trying to hit that so hard, eventually trying to avoid it so hard that he fell <laughs> right in front of the stumps. Very ungainly. But that brings in Raman Deep now from... Uh, Punjab, very big striker of the ball, but uh, it's not easy coming in so late. And Ishant will have to bowl a really bad ball to begin with to allow Ramandeep uh, some freedom here. Venkatesh, Ramandeep, both batting on zero, have just come in. Oh, and he goes for the ramp first <laughs> ball. He's just hit it away towards mid wicket here. Ramp, piche bhi nahi gai. Aage gai hai in front of square on the left side. Ek ke bane do. But uh, I wouldn't call that the perfect execution of a drive there, but Ramandeep. But because he attempted attempt ki maza aaya dekhne mein, let's give him a perfect drive. Perfect drive. You're a very generous man, Emma, because he shaped up for that scoop and got it horribly wrong. And I think he might even have uh, scooped it onto his helmet. And which is why it went to mid-wicket rather than going to fine leg or wherever else he was trying to scoop it perhaps even on the offside we'll never know now because it went horribly wrong for Ramandeep he did uh, quickly take the double I think uh, the doctor's been out there the physio they've had a quick word with him he's okay uh, although he'd be a little chastised after trying that kind of a shot uh, having just come in it's not easy to pull off well, Ricky Ponting and Saurav Ganguly look like they've seen a ghost sitting in that Delhi Capitals dugout very morose indeed and well, it's all gone wrong for them so far. Now they'd be wishing, why aren't we in New Delhi? Why aren't we home? Why aren't we back in a hotel? <laughs> why aren't we batting at the crease? <laughs> Three achieve wicket at 266 for six. Third delivery of the over. Ramandeep, two of one. Ishant Sharma, well, he's done some serious damage to KKR already. But this is short and wide and chip towards extra cover. Prithvi Shaw running across to his left, takes an excellent catch. The second wicket in the over for Ishant Sharma. Ramandeep Singh is out. Easy cash for Prithvi Shaw in the cover and I feel sorry for Ramandeep because he came in at a tough time and I hope that people don't take this inning seriously because he is a pretty good striker of the ball but the ball was so wide and short and of course easier to say from here because he was committed to that shot and he left it, it was way wide in any case he chased it at the bottom of the bat and uh, it sort of half lobbed to Prithvi at, in the covers and Ramandeep will play no more part Big Stark comes in so... Well, that's strange. Where's, uh, and, uh, I was about to say, where's Venkatesh Ayer? He's a non-striker then. Uh, Venkatesh Ayer, he's been enjoying the show so far. But uh, I think that chase of 270-odd that we were hoping for, it will be a little bit unless Mitch Stark really connects on a couple. He certainly can, as we've seen him do it time and again for Australia in the past. 
But even for him, it's a little tough to come right in and hit the big sixes unless he edges a few, unless the pace is on. Now, Ishan Sharma will do very well for himself in Delhi Capitals to have some to throw in some pace off deliveries and uh, throw the timing off completely for Mitchell Stark. Three wickets falling in the last four deliveries. It's full straight and hammered down the ground. Good looking drive from Mitch Stark. David Warner will clean it up. Stark will get off the mark with a single, but that drive was sweetly timed from Mitch Stark. A perfect drive. Perfect drive. So now, two balls left. 10 runs to make to try and get to 277. But they have the right man for the job, Venkatesh. Though Ishan picking up two wickets and giving only three runs uh, will have his tail up. And uh, I think uh, if he just bowls a couple of slow deliveries, might serve him very well. And he's punched it off the back foot, mid on this in the circle. Venki Ayer does exactly what was asked of him. Down the ground, four runs. Beyond, brought to you by Tilak Jewelers, DFW's most trusted jewelers since 30 years. Rishan Sharma ducking because that ball was hit so hard, just wanted to get out of the way. Tried that leg spin action slower delivery, but it was in the slot. And Venkatesh Ayer said, Thank you very much. Last ball now. A six will take it to 277, the joint highest. But of course, it's a big ask. Ayer having just come in and uh, Ishan Sharma will have to bowl a really bad delivery. If it's short, Ayer will pull. So where does he bowl it? The only option really, if you're not going to target the stumps as a yorker, which he bowled fabulously to Russell, is a similar ball, very full, outside off, flirting with that uh, wide line. Some changes in the field, doesn't matter. It's the last ball for heaven's sake. So square leg is in the circle, fine leg is in the circle, mid wicket is in the circle. They have taken a deep point. They have taken a long off, long on and a mid-wicket fielder. Of course, because they're so late with their 20 overs, they've got the fielding overs penalty. Rishabh Pant can see the funnier side of it. They can update the final ball of the innings. Ishant Sharma, to be honest, it's not been a bad over. Two wickets and seven overs, seven runs conceded. Big drive out towards mid-wicket, straight to the fielder. So in the end, KKR conclude on a whopping 272 for the loss of seven wickets. It's not the highest score of the IPL but overall it is a very high score indeed let's break down this first innings with Charu Sharma in the special segment we call The Expert Speaks The Expert Speak Well it may not be the highest close to that just about what five runs or so less but it is a phenomenal score and KK are doing everything right today starting from winning the toss and opting to bat first on this rather flat pitch, very flat pitch at Vishakhapatnam which is the home of the opposite team. Now they wouldn't have enjoyed this at all, of course they did against CSK. But Phil Salt missed out early and uh, Sunil Narayan didn't. Covered up for everybody with that fine 85 from 39. What a knock by Sunil, he'll remember this for a very very long time. Not exactly a spring chicken now but he threw his bat at everything and got pretty lucky but also just the bravado of swinging at everything we'll have to give it to him thereafter the momentum continued and I think uh, for me the biggest marks tonight for the debutant Angrish Raghuvanshi only 18 he looks like a school child and yet the way he played for his 54 from 27 magnificent and all for the cause because he was strike he struck at 200 he could have easily played for himself and just you know not kept the momentum going saying well I'm gi being given a chance I'm going to stay in here as long as possible but he didn't Russell of course did his usual muscle Shreyas Iyer also missing out today Rinko Singh of fantastic 27 all of that combined to take them to 272 the second I think highest score in the IPL over the 263 the Royal Challengers scored earlier and 277 uh, nothing much for the bowlers particularly disappointed with the Akshar Patel, bowled that one over, got tonked for plenty by Sunil Narayan. They really should have brought him back, but they didn't. And of course, all the rest of the faster bowlers went for many. I do think they should have bowled Sumit Kumar a little more, because he bowled his two overs for 19. He was the only one to have an economy rate below double figures. And maybe they missed a bit of a trick there by going to Norche, who doesn't like bowling off-pace deliveries. However, this is going to be too tall a mountain for any chasing team. To get, I'm, you know, putting my neck out there, but that's an easy one. 
because you might argue that CSK got to within 20 odd runs, 25 odd runs of the 277. Here too, well obviously Delhi will do their best and they have the batting for it. But just the sustained pressure of scoring God knows how many and over, ah, it's not going to be easy at all and you feel, I feel, for Delhi Capitals. Well, it's a whopping target of 273 for Delhi Capitals. Can they do the almost impossible? We'll find out in the run chase after the break. Stay locked on Big 106.2 and Talk 100.3. And of course, KZMP Financia 104.9 in Dallas, US of A. This Tata IPL exclusive continues on the home of cricket. Big FM International, 104.9 FM HD3. Are you tired of looking for the right tax preparer? Someone who can address all your financial needs? Don't worry. Perfect Tax is one of the few firms in North Dallas whose expertise is showing their clients how to pay the least amount of tax, legally and lawfully. If you have a household income of 250 k or more, Perfect Tax will give you free tax consultation and show you how you can lower your taxes in half. Call Perfect Tax at 469-213-1519 and take charge of your life today. Fun Asia Entertainment would like to thank all the local community organizations for supporting the Broadway-style production of Jai Shri Ram Ramayan on Friday, April 19th at the Curtis Culwell Center. Proud community sponsors include Shri Ram Mandir Plano, Vallab Youth Organization, Kapardi Shirdi Sai Temple of Plano, Vishwa Hindu Parishad of America, VHPA, Lohana Association of Dallas Fort Worth, LADFW, Shri Raghunath Temple, IHMS, Meditation Flowering INC DFW Hindu Temple Society Irving Vaishnav Sun Dallas, Texas Hindu Temple of Greater Fort Worth Tickets available at funasia.net Jai Shri Ram! Ready for some delicious news? Now you can enjoy all-you-can-eat desi style pizza, salad and garlic bread buffet at your favorite fun pizza kitchen restaurant in Frisco. But this isn't just any run-of-the-mill pizza buffet. At Fun Pizza Kitchen, each pizza is made to order. When you order it, custom made, freshly baked just for you, Monday through Friday between 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. What are you waiting for? Come check out all-you-can-eat pizza buffet at Fun Pizza Kitchen in Frisco. For details, visit Fun Pizza Kitchen. Com. It's not just a game, it's the Tata IPL ball by ball. Big FM International, 104.9 FM HD. You can always text the program, 323-538-2423, at Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. We're talking about McDonald's. The end of last hour has nothing on the menu as a dollar anymore, the dollar menu. It's all like, it's 28 bucks and how expensive it is. And the $20 an hour minimum wage that California has implemented for only one specific sector, which is bizarre. And somebody wrote in, texted in and said, uh... The McDonald's CEO makes $9,000 a minute or some ridiculous thing like that. So essentially, F you, because that's what you do. Uh, first of all, this has nothing to do with the CEO of the corporation. It's what people need to understand. I don't know how many times I have to tell you guys this. The corporation is different than the franchisees. So McDonald's has corporate stores, and then they're a corporation. 
that works with the franchisees. But a vast majority of the stores are franchise owned, meaning it's a single store owned by a single couple or, you know, whatever, a person. Somebody may own five stores. They're working and operating off small margins. They're not the CEO of, of, of McDonald's making $900 million a minute. They're a small business owner. It just happens to be the business they own is famous. And because of that, everybody equates them, the small business. Owner with the CEO of the corporation. It doesn't work that way. Shouldn't have to explain that to you. But in many cases, I do. Speaking of corporations, what is going on at Amazon? Amazon has announced it's removing just walkout technology from all its American grocery stores, citing cost concerns. Just walkout was billed as being able to automatically ring up customers shopping, though reportedly it often relied on hundreds of off-site reviewers to monitor video of the store and manually tabulate each purchase. In its place will go smart grocery carts, which the company says are more reliable and will similarly let shoppers avoid the checkout line. That's interesting. Uh, apparently, there were a thousand people having to monitor at all time, just like a few stores. They had to monitor the 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 prices all the time, the transactions. It was it, so it became too ineffective, cost ineffective. Now AI can cure some of that. Although I, the, the new sh the new cart they rolled out is you scan it and then you wander out. Here's something. I don't know why they don't do this. Have you seen? I don't know if you guys have this. Where I ha where I am, I've only been to a couple places that have this, but I see it more and more. Where you like, you're at a gas station, you know, Circle K, AM, PM, uh, whatever you have, Bucky's, who knows what it is, and you look over and there's a long line. You don't have to get gas. You got goodies, and you go over and you put it on a weigher. Like this, like this little thing that weighs everything, and then, based on the weight, it calculates what the price is because it knows what each weight, each item is, based on the weight, which I find to be it's just totally fascinating. And they do that with money too, right? Have you seen that where they weigh money and they can tell you how much it is? Is that the future where you just go, you put everything up, and then it tells you what everything, uh, what the cost is? Anything to eliminate human beings. <gasps> three two three five three eight twenty four twenty three. At Chad Benson shows your Twitter tweet at us, text the program. Meanwhile, in New York City, how safe is it? For Mayor Adams, he believes things underground are much better than from when he took office a little more than two years ago. Well, today we expect to hear from him alongside Police Commissioner Eddie Cabana. They will update us on subway crime at their quarterly comp stats press conference. Oh, why? Because crime is crazy there. Crime is going down, Chad. Let's go over this again. Crime. Crime is, we think of crime as somebody was called, somebody came, they arrested somebody, or what? You have to think of incidents reports. So if you're in San Francisco, New York, and somebody breaks into something, you're going to file an incident report only at this point in time for your insurance if they stole a bunch of stuff. But does it go down as the crime statistic that we know? No, they don't. And then underground, i.e. the subways and whatnot, there are serious issues about what's happening underground because of, uh, obviously, Kathy Oakle, the governor's like, hey, we should probably bring the National Guard in to help because things are going so well. Are they? Here's a new thing that's happening in New York. You guys ready for this? Punch a girl. You guys, I was literally just walking, and a man came up and punched me in the face. Oh, my God. It hurts so bad. I can't even talk. Literally, I fell to the ground, and now this giant goose egg is forming, and I'm like, oh, my God. It looks so crazy. Yeah. Women are taking to TikTok and Instagram and say, I'm walking down the street, and bam! For no reason, somebody punches me. What? 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 Now here's an update, and then I'll give you another update. Here's an update of 
the guy they arrested. Hi, a girl who got punched in the face on Monday morning here. I know it's very shocking to believe that this is the same person, okay? He really caught me at a bad moment here. Anyway, I wasn't going to talk about this situation again, but I do feel I have a responsibility to let the girlies of New York City know that the man who assaulted me has been arrested. This is him. The New York Post wrote a whole article about it. You can pause to read this or you can just search the article. The NYPD got surveillance footage from the stores where the scene of the crime happened. They called me in. They took statements from me and he was arrested today. They were very on it and helpful and obviously they arrested him very quickly. So I do highly encourage any of the girls who have also been assaulted. Please make sure if this happens to you, report it to the police and try to remember as much detail as you possibly can where it happened. If you can get a photo of them, that'd be amazing. I remembered barely anything and the police were still able to narrow it down. But yeah, that's the last and final update of this situation. Hopefully girls out there stay safe. Here's another update. They let him out. Yeah, no bail. He didn't qualify for that because they said the assault showed no intent. <laughs> Obviously intended to do something. Uh, what was that? Punch her in the face. Again, for no reason. And Mayor Adams is fighting the good fight in some ways, the best that he possibly can. But I want you to listen to some of these numbers, how staggering they are. When the amount of rest that are out there between a few people. How are they still in the street? 38 people who assaulted transit workers were arrested 1,100 times. 547 people arrested for shoplifting were arrested 7,600 times. Those numbers are staggering. Let's go over that again. Numbers. 38 people who assaulted transit workers were arrested 1,100 times. 547 people arrested for shoplifting were arrested 7,600 times. Oh my God. So the transit worker people that were attacked, those people that were arrested 1,100, 28 arrests on average between them. The 547 people, 13 in the shoplift, 13 arrests on average between them. And he talks about they just let him out. No bail. Just go on. Have it. I mean, why would you? What? <laughs> if you're not going to have any repercussions for anybody, you're just going to continue to release them over and over again in this loop, doom spiral of stupidity. Why would you expect them to change their behavior? So we do see these incidents happening on video. Well, we've seen a, a few in, this, in the city, but one is too many. Uh, we, we see this trending when someone sees something on TikTok, Instagram, or one of these uh, social media platforms. They duplicate this behavior, and there's a real correlation between the negative actions and what people are seeing trending on social media. And the fact that it's bringing you bad press. People are frustrated. Get punched in the face. They said, eh, no reason to hold this person. No bond disproportionately hurts somebody apparently so back out you go good luck with that no repercussions whatsoever 28 times on average people who have assaulted transit workers have been arrested on average 28 times and continually getting out over and over again hmm. crazy rough greens ruffgreens.com slash chat Vitamins, minerals, probiotics, mega 369, all this incredible stuff power packed into an amazing supplement that you give your dog. Now, I've been uh, giving my young dogs this. Obviously, you guys know about Doodle. He passed away, but Doodle lived quite a long time. Guy Still getting nice letters and, and texts from people uh, every day about that, and I appreciate that more than you realize. Uh, but let me tell you something about it, Rough Greens. The, the, what it was able to do for my dog, Doodle, and how it extended his life was amazing. It gave him more energy. Cause it's not just about can, can, can a dog live a little bit longer. It's how they live. And he lived healthier and happier than he did for the first few years before we started giving him Rough Greens. Why don't you try Rough Greens? Melanie from Cleveland says, hey, my dog loves Rough Greens. I think it really helps with his tummy issues. He's definitely less gassy. Keep up the good work. So many people out there send me text tweets about hey i tried rough greens i was really surprised how amazing it is try a bag for free today all you have to do is sprinkle it on top of your dog's food and voila your dog's food's not only going to taste better it's going to be better for them it's not going to cost anything but shipping that's a few bucks ruffgreens.com slash chat roughgreens.com slash chat roughgreens.com slash chat chad benson show with the election looming, continued global unrest, rising cost of living, and this crazy market volatility, the rest of this year could be a wild ride. Protecting retirement portfolios with risk management is critical. 
That's Zach Abraham, Chief Investment Officer at Bulwark Capital and host of the Know Your Risk Radio podcast. Zach, at our first meeting, Bulwark opened my eyes to how exposed my portfolio really was. We do that with everyone. Our Know Your Risk portfolio review is a great way to see if you're overexposed to risk. It's free and there's no obligation. In fact, we don't let anyone invest with us at our first meeting. Whether you become a client or not, I can promise you this, you'll leave much more informed about the risks to your retirement. I know I did. Look, you only get one retirement. Don't risk it. Schedule your free risk review now at knowyourriskradio.com. That's knowyourriskradio.com. Investment advisory services offered through Trek Financial LLC and SEC Registered Investment Advisor. Investments involve risk and are not guaranteed. Past performance doesn't guarantee future results. Bring into big wins at Lucky Star Casino. Every Saturday in April, we're giving away $15,000 in free play. That's not all. On Saturday, April 27th, we're turning up the heat with a chance to win your share of $200,000 in cash. Come and get your luck at Lucky Star Casino. Come and get your luck. Ooh, yeah. Come and get your luck. This is the home of Talk Radio's new generation, KOKC, powered by Parrish Devon, official personal injury lawyers of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Visit PepperWins.com. Jordan B. Peterson, We Who Wrestle With God Tour. If you say the truth and nothing else, you'll have an immense adventure as a consequence. You won't know what's going to happen to you, but the truth will reveal the world the way it's intended to be revealed, and the consequence for you will be that you'll have the adventure of your life. Jordan B. Peterson, live at Paycom Center, Saturday, April 13th. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. Attention, Norman and OKC. Sooner Kia slashing payments on brand new Kias. Right now, I got 22 new Kias under 222 a month. These days, car payments have gotten way out of hand. But at Sooner Kia, you can choose from 22 new Kias in stock, all available for under 222 per month. Like a 2024 Kia Seltos. This month, just 222 per month. Yes, a brand new 2024 Kia Seltos for just 222 per month. Don't want a Seltos? Then choose from other great Kia models. Like a 2024 Kia Forte, Soul, and more. All for under $222 per month. Feeling stuck in a loan or lease? Sooner Kia is here to get you released. Even if you owe up to eight grand more than your trade is worth. I'm Aaron Leger. And if you're tired of crazy high car payments, get to Sooner Kia today. And choose from 22 brand new Kias for under $222 per month. With approved credit through KFA. Full retail. Negative equity may be refinanced. Offers may not combine. 36 month lease, $34.95 to signing, plus tax tag license, stock acquisition fee, and first month's payment. 10,000 miles per year. Zero security deposit. Expires. Four, five, 24. My name is Paul, and before I came to Nerve Renewal, I couldn't do anything. I could barely walk, I could not sleep, and I could not dance anymore. And my wife and I love to dance, so it was important that I got it fixed. Since coming to Nerve Renewal, I'm able to walk without pain, dance again, and I sleep through the night because I have no more pain. If you have neuropathy and you are in pain, no need for medications, you need to call Nerve Renewal today and schedule your first appointment. Your quality of life will change. If you're suffering from pain, burning, or numbness due to neuropathy, schedule your consultation with Nerve Renewal now. Our non-invasive treatments are covered by Medicare, VA, and most insurance companies and could have you pain-free within a few short weeks. With five convenient locations in OKC, Edmond, Norman, and Midwest City, relief is right around the corner. Call 405-674-4949. That's 405-674-4949 or visit NerveRenewalNow.com. Why are people saying, hew yeah, to Jackson Hewitt? When you switch to Jackson Hewitt, they will beat what you paid last year on tax prep, even if you filed online. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at JacksonHewitt.com. You can do that? At Impressions Printing, we are daily surprising our customers with our ability to bring their ideas to life. Whether your project is an updated business card or an event invite, or you need a new sign, vehicle wrap, wall wrap, or an entire office makeover, we are here to make sure it happens. See what we can do online at impressionsprinting.com and let us help you find your next, you can do that, moment. You're going to love what you see. You're listening to The Chad Benson Show. 
now it's time to find out what's trending. What's trending? Einstein, James Dean, Davey Crockett, Peter Pan, Elvis Presley, Disneyland, Princess Blake, Mickey Blake, Chopper in the Suez. Norway, Oman, Pakistan, Qatar, Russia, Suriname. We have that fresh, that plenty of Russian Western bands, but they part of cheesecake, jelly beef, food. What's trending? Find out what's trending on the interwebs, shall we? Where do we start today? Google Trends, Taiwan, number one trending thing. Massive earthquake, 7.2, 7.5. Just huge. Biggest earthquake in 25 years. Buildings knocked down. Tsunami warnings everywhere. So the other day I watched a documentary. It was one of those days. It was quiet. I was sitting there. It was all Thursday, Friday. I thought, I'm flipping around on the TV, just relaxing. And it was a documentary about the massive tsunami. Was it 2003? Is that when that was? At Christmas? The day after Christmas? Oh, my God. I, I mean, it was horrific. And to this day, they still don't know how many people actually died. But it, you know, we always joke about nature messing you up. Usually when we joke about that, it's because somebody's done something stupid in nature. There was nothing you could do. And I don't think people realize when nature wants to get going, nature can do. So uh, a lot of people... Missing still in Taiwan. Uh, just horrific. Joel Embiid, Brewers, World Central Kitchen, obviously. Israel, I'm telling you that the, the patience is wearing thin for a lot of the the Western world in particular and what is going on there. They're hearing it from constituents. They're looking around saying, all right, when is enough enough? BB, uh, how do we sort this out? I mean, you guys have admitted that the chances of you destroying Hamas are slim to none. And Hamas has won this. I said that earlier. Hamas won this. Oh, sure. A lot of people in Palestine have died. It's not about the numbers. Hamas won this. And the reason is simple. They broke up everything that was going to happen that was good. They did it in such a way that... Two-state solution, anytime in the near future, slim to none. The chances of people wanting to work with Israel and now becoming a pariah to the rest of the world, even the Western world, and anchor around a lot of politicians next. It was bigger and grander than they could have ever thought. And I'm talking about the leadership. Their people suffered, but they don't care about their people. South Carolina women's basketball. Bronny James might go into the transfer portal. Oh, my. Shannon Doherty. Uh, she's downsizing amid her cancer battle, stage four. Uh, tornado watch versus warning. What's the difference? Cicadas, get ready for that, kids. Let's head on over to Yahoo. The View. Apparently, uh, Valerie uh, Bertinelli had to be uh, censored yesterday on The View twice. She dropped some F bombs, I think. Prince William Kate Middleton also trending. Donald Trump for his bloodbath comments we've talked about. Jimmy Kimmel calls the USA a filthy and disgusting country after a trip to Japan. Oh, did he now? Parts of uh, America are not, uh, you know, you live in Los Angeles. I have news for you. Uh, it's not glitz and glamour. I've always, I had friends come over from Europe all the time when I was living in L.A., especially when I was, you know, after playing soccer and doing over there and, and making tons of friends and then living there on and off for a decade and working in radio over there. I had friends that would come over and visit, and they'd want to go to Hollywood. I'm like, you guys have no idea. I mean, I get it. You want to go to Grauman's Chinese Theater and all this kind of stuff, see the Walk of Fame, you know. And they're like, it smells like piss and it's disgusting. I'm like, I know. And that was 20, 30 years ago. And it's just gotten worse from there. Iowa's women's basketball is trending. Taylor Swift trending as well. And Jack Smith fires back at classified documents. Judge appears open to Trump's crazy logic and theory. That, that classified documents case is, I don't know how they're going to do it. They're still trying to figure out how do you get a bunch of jurors to get top secret clearance so they're gonna have the highest clearance you can have right so top super secret clearance if i'm jack smith and i'm serious about this i drop the classified document side of it and i go with if you if you're ever hoping to get this thing you know up and running i go with obstruction because the whole classified documents thing is it's going to be a nightmare finally over to yahoo taiwan trending 
Newsmax, the Bad Batch, Wednesday Vibe, Iowa, women's basketball. Caitlin Clark trending. Bryce Harper, three home runs yesterday. Ooh, yes, indeed. Havana Syndrome. We didn't talk a lot about that. 60 Minutes had the uh, Havana Syndrome case. I think it's I, uh, uh, Russia. Is a big part of this. And I think it's the fifth or sixth time 60 Minutes has done something like this. Do you remember when they, they concluded, well, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't really anything. You guys, it's all figment of your imagination kind of thing. Uh, you know, it's not. But what is it? That's the big thing. What is the Havana syndrome? You know, the, the people who are struggling in ways you cannot believe with their headaches and the stuff that's going on. And is it some sort of electrical pulse that's meant to disrupt maybe machinery and in, and, in, and in turn people near those things? So they think the Russians in particular are finding out who's the FBI, CIA agents, trailing them and then trying to disrupt their electronics and any of the stuff, basically erase everything and destroy their stuff through some sort of electrical magnetic pulse thing, and it's causing issues with their brain. Just an interesting thing. And Christian uh, Visibility Day, obviously, I think. Is that a joke? Not that Christian Visibility Day should be a joke, but I mean, is that is that in return? Is that is that a response to Trans Visibility Day? <laughs> Oh, goodness me. 323-538-2423, at Chad Benson Show. It's your Twitter, your Instagram, all of the other things. A lot of woke stuff still to come up. Caitlin Clark, she's the biggest thing in basketball, college basketball at least. And Rob Parker, former ESPN guy, says, hey, she should be playing in the NBA. I think he's nuts. Arguably the dumbest thing I've ever heard talk about that amongst other things straight ahead it is the chad benson show the chad benson show You may have heard that Mike Lindell and MyPillow are no longer backed by their former retail partners. In response to this cancel culture, MyPillow is passing on the savings directly to you with a spectacular $25 extravaganza. When Mike first launched MyPillow, it was solely a solution for one problem. But with the dedication of his team, they've expanded their offerings to include hundreds of products. Grab incredible deals like two packs of versatile MyPillows, the MyPillow sandals, luxurious six-pack towel sets, and brand new four-pack dish towel sets, each for only $25. Plus, for the first time, indulge in premium my pillows featuring the all-new Giza fabric, available in any loft levels and size for just twenty-five dollars. Visit mypillow.com today and get in on the extravaganza. Use code Benson at checkout to get the sale price and free shipping on your order over seventy-five dollars. Go to mypillow.com or call eight hundred nine eight three forty-nine seventy-five today and use code Benson for free shipping. Again, that's eight hundred nine eight three forty-nine seventy-five or go to mypillow.com promo code Benson. How do you make sense of all the information out there about retirement, investing, and managing your money? You have questions? We have answers. Tune in to the Financial Forum Show every Saturday morning at 9, live with me, Dwayne McAnally, Certified Financial Planner, and my brother, LaDon McAnally. Call with questions or comment, or call my office at 728-1649. On this week's show, it's still not too late to decrease your taxes for 2023. Jim Norton Toyota's got your back. And right now at Jim Norton Toyota, you can have six car payments made for you when you buy or lease any new or pre-owned vehicle. Jim Norton Toyota's got your back with super low rates and an optional three-year vehicle return plan and a $12,500 payment waiver that you can use when you need it most. Hey, it's a better, safer way to finance your next new or pre-owned vehicle, and it's available with Jim Norton Toyota's exclusive golden payment waivers. Check it all out at Jim Norton Toyota to OKC.com, then come on out, shop a huge selection of new and pre-owned vehicles with rock-bottom prices and get added protection. And you'll have up to six payments made for you when you need it most. Jim Norton Toyota's got your back. Hey, come on, who else offers a three-year vehicle return plan and up to $12,500 payment waivers? It's available on every new and pre-owned vehicle at Jim Norton Toyota. So check it all out, Jim Norton Toyota, OKC.com or come and see us at 8401 Northwest Expressway. See the details. I'm Scott McCollum and I am McRuff. 
McRoof and CertainTeed are the team you need on your roof. CertainTeed's impact resistant lineup is unbeatable. Northgate Climate Flex, Presidential Shake, or the slate look of Belmont IR or the King of Shingles Grand Manor. Call Carly today at 855 766 3405 or go to McRoof.us. McRoof.us, where every replacement is a replacement done right. Spring is finally here, and the Greens Country Club is ready to help you and your family enjoy it to the fullest. The Greens boasts a premier golf experience, the most celebrated pickleball and tennis in the state, private member-only dining, and a calendar packed with events for all ages. Come find out what makes us so special. Is pickleball or tennis your game? Our award-winning racket facility offers options for all ages and skill levels, along with some of the top teaching pros in the country. Enjoy an array of fresh menu selections in the Twisted Oak Tavern from Chef Chris, and gain exclusive access to our members only speakeasy the new green room offers the perfect mix of amenities and comfort whether you're looking to play around on our multi-sport simulator enjoy perfectly crafted cocktails and cuisine with friends or family or watch the big game the green room has it all enroll this spring and save golf memberships start as low as 425 a month and new racket and social members pay no fee to join and save as much as 600 dollars in their first year to find out more contact the membership office at 405-751-6266 or email join at the green cc for the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile and the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time, there's Granger, offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. What's holding you back from learning the language you've always wanted to speak? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's lessons take just 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes isn't long. Nope. And they're fun. Fun isn't hard. Right. Babbel's interactive lessons, podcasts, games, and more make languages fun and engaging. You might even forget you're learning. And Babbel's lessons are built around real life. Babbel teaches language skills you'll actually use. About travel, business, relationships, and more. You'll learn what matters most to you. Plus, Babbel's lessons are designed to get you having real conversations in as little as three weeks. Just three weeks? Even better. Since Babbel's lessons are voiced by real native speakers, you'll get pronunciation just right and be able to carry on conversations with confidence. Learning a language with Babbel doesn't take long. And with Babbel, it isn't hard. It's It's perfect. perfect. Get Babbel. It starts here. Go to Babbel.com to try for free. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. It's overwhelming to figure out what to do to stay healthy these days. Take this. No, don't take this. Staying healthy is up to us. The Third Opinion can help. Tune in Saturday mornings from 8 to 9. The Third Opinion is an interactive radio show. Their team of professionals stay on top of the latest research in the health and supplement industry. They'll help you figure out which Star Walker supplementals might help you. The Third Opinion, Saturday mornings, 8 to 9 on KOKC, 1520 AM, 95.3 FM. Hi, this is John Lodge of the Moody Blues. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. Do you? Nights in white satin. Independent thoughts, independent life. This is Chad Benson. Arizona for Abortion Access says it has gathered over half a million signatures beyond the number to get the question of abortion access onto the general election ballot in the state. The group's proposed amendment would amend Arizona's state constitution to prohibit lawmakers from legislating against abortion up to about 24 weeks of pregnancy, and it would enshrine other abortion protections into Arizona law. Currently in Arizona, abortion is outlawed after 15 weeks. Oh, abortion access. Get it everywhere if you're the Democrats. Get it on every ballot, even if it's enshrined in your constitution. Make up a new rule. Get it on the ballot. Why is that, you say? Because they need it. Big time. Big time. Now, between now and this election, all kinds of crazy stuff is going to happen. I just want you guys to understand that you look at numbers now. Biden's making a comeback. Trump is struggling this way, that way. All of those things aside, so many things are going to happen between now and then. But one thing's for sure, abortion on the ballot is huge and the reason for that simple republicans struggle 
trying to define where they stand. Because when, when you're pro-life, but you don't really have to worry about Roe v. Wade going away, you don't have to really worry about anything other than grandstanding and talking about things. Yes, you're working towards something, but you never thought it was going to happen. That changes everything in the way you approach stuff. Because once it happens and then it gets to your state... Well, then there's serious issues there because now you have to define it. Where do you stand? How do you really feel? Because you also know that there are a lot of Republicans who believe, well, I'm not a fan of it. I want access to be there, but it can't be crazy. How do you define it? And those states that matter, and I'm not saying every state doesn't matter, but we already know 43 of the states are kind of decided. Seven states now. And abortion being on the ballot is important. Case in point, let's break this down for you right now. And like I said, a lot of stuff's going to change because I don't know what is going to happen with the economy. Could could turn to crap, could stay strong, inflation could come down. I don't know what's going to happen with what's going on in the Middle East and what's going on with Ukraine, what's going on at the border. We don't know any of those things. They could all turn up like roses for Biden. That doesn't change his aid and the age and the other things that he has going on. But you don't know. And vice versa. It could all go south and Trump walks in there. But the seven states that will decide. New poll out, Wall Street Journal. And the much too early, but we've got to talk about polls every once in a while. And these are the polls that matter. Likely voters matter. They matter the mostest in seven states. Arizona, Trump up by five. Georgia, Trump up by one. Michigan, Trump up by three. North Carolina, Trump up by six. Nevada. Trump up by four. Pennsylvania, Trump up by three. Wisconsin, dead heat. Here's one thing I would like to see. They didn't put RFK Jr. on there, which I think they need to do. I think they absolutely need to put RFK Jr. on there because I think, especially in the states, they believe that he is going to be on because that is going to matter. I think at this point in time, he's going to pull more away from the from the Democrats than the Republicans. But he is definitely going to be a factor. You know, having him on would affect a lot more than these numbers, I think, at this point in time. So you got to take in all the factors. But those seven states, that's what matter. And abortion, getting it on in Arizona, Nevada, that is going to be huge. Does that number go from 47 to 42? That's what Trump leads in Arizona. Does that shrink? It's possible. But adding RFK Jr., even if those numbers came closer together, and Biden went to 45 and Trump dropped down to 44 or whatever, does that mean... You know, if you add him, does he pull away another three, four, five points for Biden? And essentially, we're in the same place. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be interesting to see what takes place. But abortion is going to be a massive issue. And the Republicans, I say it every day when we talk about this, pick a lane, come together, have a cohesive message, and deliver that message. That's what you have to do, which means they'll fail. Because, well, I don't have a lot of confidence in them delivering messages. I think you know that. You know, we do Woke Wednesday. We talk about the woke wackiness on Wednesday. Uh, and, you know, Chad, why do you care about schools? And that's the indoctrination is silly. We talked yesterday about book banning. It's not about book banning. It is about what? Age appropriate. That's what matters. Here's a parent out there in Massachusetts. It's not thrilled by some of the things in the high school. Preparing kids for life. Um, one of the workshops was how to be a drag queen, and got to tell you, didn't set well with me. Um, you have seventh grade and up, so we have now a workshop how to be a drag queen. Tell me, as a grown woman sitting here before you, what life skills are we teaching these kids on how to be a drag queen? I'm, I'm, I'm missing the point here, but I'm, I'm certainly open-minded. And I'd like to know that when they have this drag queen workshop, we consider it acceptable and that the Sutton School's mission statement was in line with this. Are you guys aligned with that? Are you guys good? Do you guys understand how to be a drag queen? The importance of the drag queening? Do you get that? Now, we're not talking about trans. We're talking about drag queen. That's a profession, Chad. Like, how does the workshop truly help a student? You know, you have a 30-year-old male that comes in in a, in a pink miniskirt with white lace underwear, and he's telling the kids that his breasts are freezing, and he's having the kids choose a drag queen name. Now, this is in school, okay? I don't care outside of school, but I'm telling you, in school, for him to be saying that and then to have them pick a drag queen, name i'm i'm losing i'm losing sight here on what we're trying to do oh you think you're losing sight you're not understanding what this is all about it's not about teaching kids it's about indoctrination and insanity 
we're talking earlier about vocational schools starting to gain on colleges, which I think they should. I think a vocation is amazing because you're learning a trade. You're learning something you can take with you anywhere. You have something that is truly malleable in the where you live and how you can use it. It is awesome. You don't think a drag queen is a vocation? I do not think that, sir. She's upset. The parent from Massachusetts still wants to know certain things about what took place because it wasn't just them talking about it. Apparently there was a show. Um, and then from there, with his pink miniskirt and his white lace underwear, to proceed to dance on the tables so the kids can see under the skirt. Okay, you got to help me here, folks. So, and dancing, you're, you're exposing your underwear. Your panties, you can see your panties. I don't think this is age appropriate. I don't believe that it belongs in the school. And that's why I'm here tonight. So we went from a drag queen workshop, and now we have a drag queen show. It has a right to be upset. If that was my kid and came home and he said, hey, this is what happened at school today, I would say, you know what? We're going to find you a new school. This is not what school is about. I'm sorry. Drag queens should not. That, that, and, and it goes back to this. Age appropriate. And I've said that over and over again. It's like with the books where they're taking this out. of The stuff that I tried to play for you yesterday that I really couldn't even play for you was so over-the-top and ridiculous, I would get fired if I played what she read or I read it myself. Age-appropriate. Age-appropriate. It's not about banning. It's not about not seeing drag queens. You want to do that at your house? Like that lady said there. But it went from, first of all, why is a drag queen here? Secondly, to essentially doing cartwheels and seeing the junk. Ridiculous. 323-538-2423. At Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Tweet at us, text the program. Rob Parker. NBA guy, ESPN guy, former ESPN guy, I don't know if he's not on ESPN, said that Caitlin Clark could play in the NBA. She needs to skip the WNBA. She's the best college basketball player. You're insane, sir. That will never happen, sir. She is not good enough to play in the NBA. Enough with this stuff. Because you're going to hear a lot about that in the coming week. And she's great as a female college basketball player. She is not NBA. She couldn't play in the G League. Just can't happen. Sorry. Just can't. You're six foot. 155, 160 pounds, you're not going to be able to compete. You just can't do it. This thought of like, ah, oh, totally can, it can't happen. It can't. Because you don't want it to? No, because it can't happen. Sure, you put her on her team. And could she score some points? Maybe. Are you ever going to play her? You can play her in crunch time? I don't think so. 323 538 2423. At Chad Benton Show is your Twitter. We'll wrap it up straight ahead. Raycon, best of your buds around. Mother's Day coming up. Get your mom the best thing some silence. The amazing everyday earbuds that fit incredible, that sound incredible, that don't break the bank. Eight hours talk time, 32 hours of battery life. They've got three different sound modes. You can easily switch through one tap function to answer phone, do things like that. But that isolation mode is incredible. And you will absolutely love giving these to mom. Now, right now, the 20% off, they start well under 100 bucks, And I want you not only to get these for mom, maybe get yourself a pair as well. Mom's going to love you for it. You can give her the isolation and quietness that she wants in a time of chaos. And when she wants to, listen to the great podcasts of the world. Listen to awesome music. It's great. So what are you waiting for? Give your mom the gift that keeps on giving. Solitude and silence. And when she wants, eight hours of talk time and 32 hours of battery life, which you can listen to her favorite podcast and do the things she needs to do. The Everyday Earbuds from Raycon. Start well under 100 bucks, Saving you 20% right now. Free shipping. And a 30-day happiness guarantee. Buyraycon.com slash Chad. Buyraycon.com slash Chad. Chad Benson Show. Has your child's health insurance been impacted? Harris Parker has more. In the know, I'm Harris Parker. Did you know that over 4 million children have lost their Medicaid coverage? Pediatrician and American Academy of Pediatrics spokesperson, Dr. Kimberly Avila Edwards, discusses the ongoing public health emergency. The biggest concern about children losing Medicaid insurance is the health risks they face without access to care. Families may also be forced to shoulder the full cost of medical expenses without the safety net of coverage, leading to financial hardship and increased stress for already vulnerable households. Medicaid plays a vital role in ensuring children have preventive care, timely treatment of illnesses, and management of chronic conditions all crucial for healthy childhood development. If you're unsure about your child's eligibility or have received notices of disenrollment, please contact your local Medicaid agency. They can clarify eligibility and guide you through the renewal process or help you find another coverage option. My top two tips are to be proactive and return paperwork quickly. Learn more at localhelp.healthcare.gov. I'm hearing more and more about the incredible work of emotional support dogs. But quite frankly, I think all dogs are emotional support dogs. Trust me. I know. 
I am emotionally supported by my dog. His unconditional love is second to none. And that's why I love him back with Rough Greens. Naturopathic Dr. Dennis Black, the founder of Rough Greens, knows it's our responsibility to do whatever we can to help our furry family members feel better, especially if they are struggling with achy joints, low energy, and even bad breath. All those symptoms are telling you there's something wrong. Rough Greens is the easiest way to help your dog. Just add a scoop of Rough Greens to their food every day and get them back on the road to better health. Dr. Dennis Black is so convinced Rough Greens will help your dog that he's offering a free Jumpstart trial bag. Simply cover the shipping. Visit roughgreens.com slash chat. Bring dead food back to life with Rough Greens. Roughgreens.com slash chat. That's roughgreens.com slash chat. R-U-F-F-Greens.com slash chat. Airlines have just reduced their prices even more. Book 30 days in advance and save big. Want the absolute lowest prices on your airline tickets? Then call the low-cost airlines travel hotline right now. For prices so low, we can't publish them anywhere. The only way to access our low rates and save up to 70% is to call. Save hundreds on your vacation tickets by calling right now. You can fly anywhere in the world and pay discount prices on your airline. Airline tickets. Book a flight today to London, Paris, Madrid, or anywhere else you want to go. And pay a lot less guaranteed. Call the International Travel Department right now at low-cost airlines. 802-341-4525. 802-341-4525. 802-341-4525. That's 802-341-4525. All they want to do is keep you poor and stupid. The Watchdog on Wall Street podcast with Chris Markowski. Every day, Chris helps unpack the connection between politics and the economy and how it affects your wallet. Some in the media are trying to tell you it's bad if your prices go down, causing a deflation spiral. If prices go down, are people really going to hold off on buying things? Doesn't everyone need groceries? Whether it's happening in D.C. or down on Wall Street, it's affecting you financially. Be informed. Check out the Watchdog on Wall Street podcast with Chris Markowski on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Richard Gerhardt, founder of Gerhardt Law. We specialize in patents, trademarks, and copyrights. You can find out more at learnmoreabouttrademarks.com. We love working with entrepreneurs and helping their businesses grow. And here is our client, Ricky, to tell it like it is. Hi, I'm Ricky Frango, founder and CEO of Prime 6. We manufacture high-performing clean end marks, the patents, everything that has to do with product development and how to protect our inventions. And we're extremely grateful for the wonderful team that has been supporting our business since day one. Thank you, Ricky. To learn more about trademarks, go to learnmoreabouttrademarks.com and download our free Entrepreneur's Guide to Trademarks or book a free consultation with me to discuss your patent and trademark needs. That's learnmoreabouttrademarks.com for your free booklet about trademarks and a free consultation. Doctors Without Borders is delivering life-saving medical care where it's needed most in communities around the world. From bandaging war-wounded patients in Sudan to providing clean drinking water in Haiti, we're in more than step from crisis to care. This life-saving care is made possible by a global movement of supporters like you. Thank you. Deep states? Uh, no. Deep doo-doo? Yeah, the Chad Benson Show. Apparently not liking Beyonce's new country album is racist. Yeah, so um, I'm not allowed to have an opinion on it. Apparently um, it is an amazing album and I'm not allowed to dislike it. So yeah, in case any of you guys want to have an opinion on that album, you're not allowed to. Uh, I only know one song on it. I'll be be honest with you. I haven't heard the whole song. I've only heard what's on Reels and TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. This ain't Texas. Many of you probably go, oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's good or not. But you can. And again, this is if you're white. If you're white and you don't like another country album from a white person, what does that make you then? I'm curious. I'm sure there are people out there who are pissed because Beyonce or any pop star, for that matter, that comes in and 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 does really well and i don't even know what country music is anymore because you sit there and listen to it and you're like that's that can be played anywhere 
because that's kind of where we are with the music genre. And we've been talking about it earlier in the day with AI and the musicians taking on AI and the fear and worry about what's going on out there. It is understandable. Let me tell you something. You guys know I deal with AI every day. We were doing something yesterday. We were Some people were asking us questions because they're thinking about doing some AI stuff. And uh, they are amazed and shocked at what it can do. And it's still in its infancy. Katy Perry has a song about intelligent life from other planets. But she's cautious about artificial intelligence. She's one of more than 200 artists who have signed an open letter warning about the possible irresponsible and predatory use of AI in music. Others signing on include John Bon Jovi, Sheryl Crow, Stevie Wonder, the Jonas Brothers, Imagine Dragons. In the letter, they say if AI is used responsibly, it can aid creativity. But used irresponsibly, it's a threat. And they're asking the industry not to use AI in a way that would infringe on the... And if you didn't write the song, you didn't produce the song, you didn't sing the song, is that your infringement? What if you're an up-and-coming artist and you sound like Drake or you sound like Beyonce or you sound like, uh, you know, whoever, the Imagine Dragons? Trust me, I understand the worry of people out there. But AI is here, and you got to figure out a way to use it to your advantage. Think about all the albums now Beyonce can produce. Country, hard metal, anything. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be crazy. But the creativity side still has to be there. So one thing I continue to tell everybody... Prompt engineer, look into it. If you're looking to do things, we were talking earlier about college and stuff like that. Tell your kids, prompt engineer. And and people think, oh, it's you, you got to be able to type in something. No, it's not what you got to be able to type into. It's understanding how to position yourself in a world that is coming. How to create certain things in a way that is is, is cohesive when it comes to AI that is important. Because even coders, talking yesterday to a couple people who are big-time AI folks, and one of the things they've been working on is creating AI to code. Well, AI itself can do some of that. But AI now is building specifically, this is what's crazy about it, it's building specifically other AIs that can code better than them. So think about this. It's there, AI doing its thing, and you want it to code something. It doesn't know how to do that. So what's it do? It builds something that's better than it to code specifically for that, because that's not in its function. Crazy. 323-538-2423, at Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Tweet at us, text the program. Love hearing from every one of you. Uh, Yesterday. Because we always ask you to text in. And we talked about RFK Jr. One of the things I said is he's got something wrong with his vocal cords. And somebody says, you make excuses for RFK not being able to speak. But Biden's lifelong stutter, what say you? Crickets. Typical right-wing douchebaggery. I love when I hear that. Makes me laugh. He stuttered as a kid, I guess. He's not Mel Tillis. You guys know who Mel Tillis is? Famous country singer. Uh, Pam Tillis, country singer. This is his daughter. He had a really bad stutter. He could sing, but there was, I mean, you couldn't get through a conversation. Like, that that was the stutter he had. It comes when people want to make an excuse for Biden about certain things. I'm not saying it's something he hasn't overcome, but great for him. But everybody acts like, you know, when they're upset over Biden's speech, well, it's because of his stutter. Come on. Good that he overcame it. But uh, how much of that stutter was there back in the day? Because I go and listen to speeches that he gave, you know, in the 80s and 90s. And I don't hear any stutter. Do you? And if he stuttered like Mel Tillis, well, then wouldn't that be something I think we would see every single day? No. RFK Jr. has a problem where he's had to have surgery on his vocal cords. It's just... Everybody's got it. Oh, you just don't understand. You're a douchebag, Chad. Douchebaggery. Because you don't want to talk about the stutter that he overcame. RFK Jr. has something that you can obviously hear is a real issue. Biden's issue has nothing to do with his speech pattern of stuttering that you say is there. When it comes and goes, I guess. It has a lot to do with a lot of other things. Like his memory. Issues like that. 323-538-2423. At Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Tweet, text, love hearing from every single one of you. It's time to learn a little something new. Now it's time for 
Stupid information. Stupid information. That's right. Some stupid information you can take with you. Press your friends, kids. Pillows. Been around a while. Big business. About $18 billion a year. Earliest pillows can be traced to Mesopotamia. Cradle of civilization. Yeah. By the way, if you go and look at pillows back in the day, yeah, they sucked. Big time. Big time. In fact, they were hard. They were shaped in, in you know, they, they look more like candles that you were sleeping on, like where you would set candles. A candelabra? Yes. Than anything else. But it was the Egyptians who decided, hey, we're going to try some different stuff. We're going to put certain things inside of here. We're going to put, like, maybe feathers. We're going to put straw. Other things inside of pillows. Length of an average nap, one hour. Age at which a toddler can start sleeping with a pillow is two. And the average width in inches of a standard modern pillow is 20 inches. First Saturday in April is International Pillow Fight Day. That's right. (laughs) Is it really? Yeah, it is. First International Pillow Fight Day was held in 2008 across 25 cities around the world, reaching approximately 5,000 participants in New York City alone. It is now held each year on the first Saturday in April. So there you go, kids. Little fun stuff that you needed to know on this beautiful, amazing Wednesday. We got you over the hump as we do. 323-538-2423 at Chad Benson Show. This is the Chad Benson Show. Paid for by Christian Care Ministry. Let's see, if something costs less, but people are happier with it, that sounds like something to look into, and that is MediShare. Maybe you've heard switching to MediShare to pay for health care can save many families up to 500 bucks a month, and that is huge. But it's also true that people are way more satisfied after making the switch, too. The member satisfaction rate for MediShare is double that of the typical health insurance plan double. MediShare works too. It's been around for 30 years. Members have shared more than $5 billion of each other's bills. People love having telehealth and a huge nationwide PPO network. So yeah, really, you can save a ton and like it better. Imagine being happy with how you're taking care of your health care. So if you're self-employed or part of the gig economy, or you just want to plan you're happy with. You can call right now. You'll get a price within two minutes. So see what you can say. This is a very, very smart use of two minutes. Here's the number you need. Call 855-51-BIBLE. That's 855-51-BIBLE. 855-51-BIBLE. KOKC, Oklahoma City. The Tyler Media Station, entertaining you since 1965. 95.3 FM and 1520 AM. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Progressive Insurance. I'm Steve Kathan. A furious effort's going on in Taiwan to get to people trapped in piles of debris after the strong earthquake that shook the island. CBS's Vicki Barker. The quake rattles a chandelier in one home, brings bookcases and books crashing to the ground in another. Searchers call out to the trapped amid fears that the death toll will rise. At least nine are dead in Taiwan, hundreds more hurt in the magnitude 7.4 quake. Cleanup underway after several storms, including tornadoes, hit from Texas and Oklahoma north to Ohio and into the south. This man was eating lunch in the food court of a shopping mall in Huntington, West Virginia, when strong winds blasted through. I heard the wall back there collapse and it come tumbling to the ground. This has been certainly not your average day at the mall. In Washington, D.C., Attorney General Merrick Garland says violent crime is down in the U.S. and federal efforts to fight it are being expanded in several major cities. A flood of illegal guns into our communities is increasingly driven by individuals who sell guns without a license, and who do not conduct background checks on their sales. As the report indicates, these black market guns are often found at crime scenes. A Washington state man who used a megaphone to orchestrate the 2021 mob attack at the U.S. Capitol has been sentenced to more than seven years in prison. Videos captured Taylor James Jonatakis playing a leadership role. Highlighting a campaign issue today on battling high drug prices, President Biden spoke about moves to lower the cost of asthma inhalers and insulin. Take insulin for people with diabetes. It costs 10 bucks to make. 
If you add everything in terms of packaging and all the rest, you can argue maybe $12 total. And they're charged as much as $400 a month. Not anymore. Not anymore. Seniors with diabetes will only have to pay $35 a month from this point on. LSU star Angel Reese has formally declared for the WNBA draft less than two days after the Tigers' season ended with a loss to Caitlin Clark in Iowa in the Elite Eight round of the Women's NCAA Tournament. In a speech at Stanford University, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said policymakers will likely cut the benchmark interest rate later on this year. Reducing rates too soon or too much could result in a reversal of the progress we've seen on inflation and ultimately require <clears throat> even tighter policy to get inflation back to 2%. And checking Wall Street right now, the Dow is up 56 points, the S&P up 17. This is CBS News. Sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Looking for a career path with flexibility, great pay, and benefits? Go to Progressive.com. After the tax, they helped me. They calmed me down. They made me feel comfortable, and I trust them. Louis has a lot to be thankful for. I don't owe the IRS anymore, and I'm able to live a comfortable life, a lot better life. It was because of Optima Tax. For tax help you can trust, call Optima now for a free consultation. Take it from Louie. If you owe the IRS, don't go it alone. Give Optima Tax a call. They can help you. Call 800-343-6460. 800-343-6460. 800-343-6460. Optima Tax Relief. Testimonial from an actual client. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Big money on the line again tonight in a multi-state lottery. The Powerball jackpot has grown to $1.09 billion after yet another lottery drawing yielded no winner Monday night. The jackpot is the fourth largest in Powerball's history and comes on the heels of a $1.13 billion Mega Millions prize won by someone in New Jersey just last week. It has been three months since anyone won a Powerball jackpot. The next drawing is Wednesday night. Matt Piper, CBS News. NASA wants to come up with an out-of-this-world way to keep track of time, putting the moon on its own clock. Not quite a time zone like those on Earth, but an entire frame of time reference for the moon. There's less gravity on the moon. Time moves quicker compared to Earth. NASA has now been told by the White House to work with international agencies to come up with a new moon-centric time reference system. I'm Steve Kathan, CBS News. When you hire your local Serta Pro painters, you get the power of a cut above. Decades of expertise to transform your home from so-so to virtuoso. The power of neighborhood painters. We live where you live and probably like the same pizza place you do. But the power of pro to work for you today. Get your project started at CertaPro.com. Each CertaPro painter's business is independently owned and operated. Tired of being sick and tired? Need some answers to your health challenges? Join Ultra Botanica's Adam Payne and Josh Bellew Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. for Ultra Life Today. Hear cutting-edge interviews with doctors and health pros that think outside the box. They'll be taking your calls and giving away life-changing products. Join Adam and Josh and live your ultra life today. Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. on 1520 a.m. and 95.3 FM KOKC. 1520 KOKC. Are you ready? Jamie Markley, David Van Camp, and Scott Robbins. We just become best friends. Yep. Making sense of it all. Oh, I get it. And having some fun. Lighten up, Francis. This is the Markley. Jamie Markley, David Van Camp, Scott Robbins out today, should be back tomorrow. It's a planned day off, by the way. Some people get nervous about Scott, yeah. so just heads up on that. A lot to get to. Let's start with Corinne Jean-Pierre, one of your favorites today. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, she is a, 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 absolutely a glass ceiling shatterer, not only <laughs> as the first uh, black lesbian to hold the position of White House press secretary, but she is also the first press secretary to have been kicked in the back of the head by a mule as a child, which explains why she uh, says things that just don't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, so we'll start here. Uh, yet another illegal alien has been arrested for murder. Apparently he's confessed to the crime. Uh, Remember we talked about this last week. 
I mentioned at the time, you notice national media is nowhere near this story. Yeah. Of course. Uh, Trump Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre was asked, do you think that's appropriate language? What does the White House have to say about this? Okay. We have to denounce. Our response is we have to denounce. Um, any any violent rhetoric that we hear, um, certainly from our leaders, right, that tears our country apart. It could tear up our country apart and puts our fellow Americans in harm's way, in danger. So we have to denounce that. Uh, and look, you know, okay. I think and we think uh, that the American people wants to see the country coming together. That's what they want. Uh, they want to they want to make sure that we respect our democracy. Who has split the country more than this administration? Well, on any number of different topics. And, and, and really, you have gangs who aren't even coming here to stay. They're coming here to steal. Uh, you've seen that in Los Angeles. You've seen it in Michigan. You've seen it in New York, of course, in Chicago. They're going up. They're robbing people and, in some cases, killing people or injuring people uh, and then sending that money back to wherever it is that they came from. You have this wave of destruction that's occurring as a result of this open borders policy. And the White House is concerned about the term bloodbath, which in this case accurately describes what's been going on. Yeah, it does. It absolutely does. And you're not even getting into the fentanyl issue. No. <laughs> that's a whole completely different issue as far as lives lost because of an open border. It's really interesting, man, because you have Democratic voters now figuring this out, and there is a backlash. You're seeing it across the country. And you and I were watching the video earlier of this lady in Chicago. Yeah. At a city council meeting, laying it out. Oh, yeah, th this woman just, I mean, it, it was a, a, a master class in, uh, in speaking and in, in, in just laying out what's at stake, what's happening, and the outrage that so many people in this country feel as a result of Biden's border crisis. Yeah, and I don't know everyone that was in that meeting, but as far as bringing different people together, it seems like this did it. Yeah. Because this appears to be an American or an Asian American woman uh, speaking with people of color, and everyone's on the same page here, it sounds like. Everyone recognizes that something evil is among us and Americans are not ready for the fundamental impacts this will have. In fact, we can't even fathom it because we've never seen anything like this. Right. Yeah. We have an administration that is run by criminals who hate America. Yes, yeah. yes. That's why they protect these oh, man. Criminals that hate America. That's pretty accurate. It is pretty accurate. But if you were just to play that little three-second clip and played it for a bunch of people... There'd be many that would say, that's some crazy right-wing gathering. Right. And this ain't that, I guarantee you. Yes. yes. And we have a government that uses language to weaponize the masses. Mm -hmm. They're not illegal aliens, they're asylum seekers. Right. Uh-oh, oh, right. they're not buying they that anymore, are they? No, they're not. And the they old shouldn't. asylum seeker nonsense. There are some, but it's rare when you look at all of the people that have come across the border illegally. Right. And they throw these terms around so that the people of America feel guilty. Because nobody wants to be a bad person. We all aim to be good. But there's a distinction between goodness and tolerance. You know what? <laughs> she had a way with words there that few do. Yeah. And I think we've talked about it several times. There are a lot of people in this country that have good hearts that want to help out people in need. And some are almost afraid to say what they really think of what's going on because they will help people. But then they see the invasion that's happening and the country changing before their eyes, and especially people in very poor neighborhoods that have been promised that they would get help from their local, state, federal government. It doesn't come and it's all going to these people that have come here illegally. They've had it with that. And unfortunately, I believe the majority of Americans are not acting out of a spirit of goodness, but rather out of a spirit of cowardliness and naivety. Yes. Man. I mean, there. yeah, there are people who are afraid to say something. 
Not anymore. <laughs> Doesn't seem like in no. a place like that. No, and uh, and unfortunately, there are people who say that they're empathetic and believe that they are empathetic and uh, to various plights and all of that. But the moment somebody starts worrying about uh, this illegal immigrant crisis that has hit so many major U.S. cities, if it's not directly affecting them, they have no empathy for the people who are who are talking about it. I was talking about this with somebody I know um, who, fortunately, uh, their neighborhood has not been affected by this okay my part of town where i live has been and it's not as bad as as like certainly some places in chicago certainly other places uh in texas and all that not not nearly as bad but i i just noticed i just said something like you know there's been a pretty significant uptick in people getting their cars broken into mailboxes getting broken into uh there's a ton of people panhandling all over the place Mm -hmm. Uh, they all seem to have the same sign it's very weird like somebody's mass printing this and handing it out. It's very strange. What's the sign say? It's usually something like, uh, you know, raising money. My uh, some family member has cancer or, or something like that. But it's all written in the same script, right? Like it's the same handwriting. It's it's very, it's interesting to me. And right. you wonder, okay, who's sending them out? What organization is sending them out to raise money to basically pay for their smuggling into the United States? Mm-hmm. You know, there there could be a lot of different explanations for this. But I was talking about that to somebody who hasn't been affected by this, um, who said, oh, you just sound like a racist old white guy. And I said, well, talk to the black folks on the south side of Chicago, because uh, by your logic, they also sound like racist old white guys. Exactly. Yeah, it's interesting. The people in media that have talked for years about, you know, black voices being silenced. And we want to give a voice to people. Well, I notice all of a sudden you don't anymore. No. Because you don't want to give a voice to these people because it doesn't align with your politics. It's wild, man. More on that a little bit later. Maybe you saw some of the video coming out of Taiwan. That earthquake, 7.5. It was crazy. I mentioned it before. The dude that was standing in the swimming pool, and I don't know if that was a hotel or where it was. And he's getting kind of rocked back and forth, but the water's splashing out one side and then the other. And then there was video of people on the bridge. Where it's shaking all over, buildings half, you know, tumbled down. Mm-hmm. Just brutal. So death toll is rising. Last I heard was, what, 9 or 10? But at least 800 injured? Yeah. And then you think, of course, <laughs> about the different places in the United States that are on a fault line that have been talking about, you know, someday it's going to happen here. You can't help but think that when you're watching some of those images. But as I was watching the story, and it's get getting quite a bit of coverage, which it should, all of a sudden something dawned on me. You know what we haven't heard about, I don't think, all week? Or if we have, I've missed it. What's that? Haiti. Yeah. All of a sudden, I mean, that it's a complete crisis going on there, and we've heard nothing in the last five days of what's happening there. No. Because, I mean, I guess that's the way news media works, is there's always some new fire going on somewhere, so you cover something else, and all of a sudden I'm like... I'm guessing Haiti is still a disaster right now. And Barbecue is probably still in charge, the gang leader. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's just so many things, it seems like, going on in the world right now. Um, Some good news to report. Um, One crisis avoided. All right. And I think Scott Robbins, who is not here today, can rest easy because Lizzo has clarified she is not, Uh. not quitting music. Oh, okay, good. Good. Because last Friday she said she was tired of it. All the haters and all the hate. All she wants to do is bring joy. But every time someone is talking about uh, her appearance and she can't take it anymore. Yeah, I'm paraphrasing. But that was after she did the fundraiser fundraiser for uh, Biden along with Obama and Clinton. But yesterday she posted a video to clarify um, she's quitting um, giving any negative energy her attention. Uh, so rest there. Uh, Everything is going to be all right. Can I, I, I'll just say this again. I don't know why you would keep going if you've reached the level that she's reached in terms of, of wealth and fame. And I'm not, you know, everybody's got to do their own thing. I'm just saying if I made $100 million off of a couple of tours and a few albums, mm-hmm. you'd never hear from me again. <laughs> I'll tell this again to everybody who wants me off the radio. You give me $5 million, you will never... I will be managing a 7-Eleven tomorrow. You will Five never million. hear me on the radio again. 
I'll take one-fifth of that. Sign the same deal. All right, more to get to. Uh, Mass layoffs for fast food workers in California and more straight ahead. Attention business owners, stop wasting money on rent and start building up equity by owning a custom design building from General Steel. Over four decades, General Steel has been trusted by small business owners and the Fortune 500. Call us today at 844-98-STEEL for your fast construction, low maintenance, high quality building at an affordable price. Call 844-98-STEEL to own your building starting with just a small deposit. Business owners like you are taking advantage of early spring weather and getting a head start in their projects. This surge in demand will extend the project timeline, so act now and be ready to build this spring. Call 844-98-STEEL to secure your place in our delivery schedule. Stop wasting money on rent and start gaining equity with a building from General Steel. Call 844-98-STEEL now to find out how quickly your business can move into one of our quick construction kits, like a 50 by 100 perfect for the small business owner, or a 200 by 450 favorite of the Fortune 500. Just call 844-98-STEEL. That's 844-987-8335. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus a hundred bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Do you hear that? Asthma triggers are everywhere, from dust mites, pet dander, and pollen, to smog and smoke. An asthma attack can strike anywhere, anytime. Be prepared with quick-acting primatine mist, clinically proven to open airways quickly. It's the number one FDA-approved asthma inhaler available over-the-counter. Primatine mist. Breathe easy again. Use as directed. Howdy, neighbors. Ron Hayes checking out the latest on our agricultural news on Talk Radio's new generation, KOKC. Back in just a moment. Ed Montana here, and I'll see you in Canadian Texas Tuesday and Wednesday, April 23rd and 24th for the 2024 Hampfield County Beef Cattle Conference with over 100 exhibitors plus 12 great beef cattle speakers, including keynote speaker Kaylee McEnany. Join me in Canadian for the best cattle event of the year. Plus, we'll enjoy ribeyes, Texas barbecue, and first-class treatment from our title sponsor, Capital Farm Credit. Go to the website and get your tickets today or call 806-323-9114. At BASF, we're constantly innovating. When others said, fungicides just can't last all season. We said, oh yeah, watch this. Then we invented Revilock fungicide. Powerful soybean protection that gets absorbed quickly, starts working fast, and lasts all season. It's everything everyone said wasn't possible. All new Revilock fungicide. That is how you do it. Always read and follow label directions. Greg Haynes with us today from uh, Cattlemen's Beef Promotion Board. Greg, uh, we've got, uh, of course, some high cattle prices right now. That makes these guys that uh, at uh, meetings like this of the Texas Southwestern Cattle Raisers very happy. But uh, we've got tighter numbers, and that means fewer checkoff dollars available. And I know that's something you, you've had to kind of account for as you do your planning uh, for the year ahead. Yeah, yeah, you're totally right, Ron. I mean, it's great to see higher cattle prices now. Like I said, it makes the mood at these, these meetings much better. But with the lower um, number of cattle that we have there and just you know seeing a, a report here from Randy Block of Cattle Facts, you know, it doesn't look like we're gonna get into that rebuilding phase, you know, probably not for the next few years at least. It's gonna be I guess a very you know flat rebuild. So that does make it a challenge on the checkoff side because with less cattle we have less um, checkoff dollars. Um, on the positive side to that, you know, the last few years as we were kind of going through more liquidation, we were actually getting higher um, collections than we anticipated during those few years. So we were able to hold some back, kind of anticipating this would be happening. And so we've been able to kind of uh, spread that out over the years and we have more that we can use, can allocate over the next couple of years too. And I think that will kind of keep those program funding levels fairly level 
which is important because as we're contracting out for these programs, you know, if you've got staff and, and all this, not knowing what your budgets are going to be or if they're going to drop you know, really low in one year, you're going to have to get rid of people. And I think this will help really keep things a lot more stable and keep those programs going along at a pretty consistent level. Top hired hand of the Cattlemen's Beef Board, Greg Haynes. And that's for Farm News on Talk Radio's New Generation. I'm Ron Hayes for KOKC. Robbins is out. Planned. He should be back tomorrow. Might have heard about $20 minimum wage for fast food workers in California. It's a law, you know. Yeah. And, you know, this story talks about inflation you know, certainly drove up operational costs for businesses across the United States over the last few years and shrunk profit margins, especially for major fast food chains. And I remember Robin talking about his granddaughter. It was like she would go from one fast food place and then another one across the street would offer a couple of bucks more. Yeah, they were headhunting. Yeah, because it was so hard to find workers. And that's happened all over the place. And as the story goes, small chains and mom and pop businesses simply can't compete. And now you have California's Fast Recovery Act passed into law in 2022, and now it's gone into effect $20 an hour. Guess what's happened? The mass layoffs have begun. Well, yeah. I mean, this thing was so hilariously corrupt, too. This is the law that we talked about a few weeks ago when somebody looked at the fine print and realized, well, wait a minute. Because there's an exception built into the law for businesses that serve bread, that bake bread as a standalone item for sale. Now, there's only one major fast food company that would have appl- that where this would have applied, and that's Panera. And the owner of Panera just happens to be a big supporter of Gavin Newsom. Right. I mean, it's obviously corrupt. <laughs> oh, gosh. That is still hilarious to me. Um, Now, not only that, you have the digital options that a lot of fast food franchises are going to because it's just more cost effective. And all of this was predicted. Mm -hmm. And in the story, it I mean, it does not take a genius to figure this out. But in the story, it says the problem that. It's typical among leftists. It's a lack of understanding when it comes to the basics of business operations. I don't know how you don't get it. Is that you really think, well, they're making oodles of money, and they have plenty more to give to these workers. That's part of it. I think there's ignorance at play there. There's grift at at play there. You know, it's people wanting uh, labor union money or support from uh, certain voting demographics. But... The other thing is, I do believe this, and you can say it's tenfold hat theory if you want. I don't think it is. But there are people who push for it because of what you're, you're seeing now. Because if you have a bunch of people suddenly laid off, what are they going to do? They need to be relying on public services, on a social yeah. safety net. And then what happens there? Well, you got to raise taxes in order to uh, uh, pay for this influx of people on the public dime. Well, where do you get that? You tax the businesses. Well, then you tax the businesses to the point where they start laying off more people. More people go up onto the public dollar and so on and so forth. It's this death spiral on purpose to end capitalism. Well, and not only that, you're crushing the small mom and pop places again it's so at then, the same time and then eventually what happens we've already seen proposals recently of not only a universal uh, uh basic wage or basic income i guess is what it's called but also government-run grocery stores oh yeah oh goodness well some uh some of these fast food places have been forced to cut work crews in half i mean those those working will be paid the extra Money an hour, they'll get twenty bucks now, but they'll have to work twice as hard per shift. But that's something else they don't talk about. No, because the expectation is still there. And I don't know if you've noticed over the last five years, just fast food service not quite what it used to be. I uh, know, and it was a little suspect before, unless you went to, you know, fast food restaurants that have a good reputation that train their workers well. There's a few of those, but outside of that, man, it's pretty dismal. 
Another story out there, Google, deleting all of your incognito searches. I'm not a user of Google Chrome much, so I didn't even know there was an incognito search function with Google Chrome, but apparently a lot of people use it. Yeah. And a lot of people feel like, okay, when I go incognito, they're not tracking that. <laughs> oh, please. There's nothing private on the Internet. <laughs> no. I mean, there are various ways. But look, look, I mean, they're not going to provide you with a free stealth browsing mode. No. A lawsuit filed a couple of years back accused Google of misrepresenting the type of data that it collects from those searches, those incognito searches. Mm -hmm. Lawsuit was settled late last year, but the details have just come out. They agreed to delete billions of data records from people's private browsing sessions. Now, the plaintiffs wanted $5 billion in damages, but that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Google is updating its disclosure forms, which I'm sure no one will read, and allowing people to block third-party cookies in incognito mode for the next five years. Okay. And they also won't track how often you switch to incognito from now on, is what they say. You, you can definitely tell who was up to no good based on their reaction to that story, though. Oh, would you tell to somebody? Yeah. They were tracking that? Uh-oh. <laughs> so I, all of a sudden, <laughs> this pale look comes up. Yeah, right. <laughs> like they just saw a ghost. It's, a, it's like when the news broke <laughs> that Pornhub shut down in Texas. <laughs> it's like, wow, a lot of you guys are telling on yourselves. <laughs> this is the Markley Van Camp and Robin Show. Okay, biggest story today, David. Uh, biggest story of the day is that, according to the Biden administration, the problem isn't illegal aliens running criminal gangs killing people, running drugs, and, and human beings in the country. The problem is that Trump uses harsh language to describe it. <sighs> That's putting people's lives at risk. How? Lives at risk more than they were at risk before? Right. Before someone got killed by an illegal? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so we need to get to that. And then Biden slamming Israel. Need to get to that story. That's not a big surprise. And then a round of What's Your Story? Straight ahead right here. This is the Markley Van Camp and Robin Show. News from the Radio Oklahoma News Network, I'm Dale Forbes. Enid has a new city commissioner today. Radio Oklahoma's Ken Johnson explains. Enid voters used a recall election to remove city commissioner Judd Blevins from office. The Enid Social Justice Committee did so in response to Blevins' ties to white supremacist groups. His challenger, Cheryl Patterson, won the election 829 to 561 votes. Only a few days left until the total solar eclipse, and the state capitol is prepping Oklahomans for the event by bringing in the National Guard. Major General Thomas Mancino explains the Guard's role in keeping people safe. Anytime there's a large crowd of civilians in Oklahoma, we like to be there in case we're needed. Executive Director of ODOT also warns people to take safety precautions on the road because he expects there will be a huge influx of traffic in southeast Oklahoma. Beginning this week, many of the more than one million Oklahomans who use Sooner Care are now part of a new plan called Sooner Select. Emily Long is the public information officer for the Oklahoma Health Care Authority. She says the new program is about added value benefits. The program is really built with primary and preventative care um, focus so that we, um, again, are incentivizing going to the doctor. And a bill allowing the DPS commissioner to release certain information about suspects allegedly involved in possible terrorism is advancing to the full house. Representative Regina Goodwin didn't support the bill. If that one person, the commissioner, gets to decide who information is released to, that also seems to be one person having that authority, not only intrusive, but also it gives one person a lot of leeway here. The sponsor, John George, an ex-cop, contends the commissioner is the best person to release information like that. From the Radio Oklahoma News Network, I'm Dale Forbes. Hillary Communications, serving more than 19,000 customers with telephone service in 22 counties throughout Oklahoma.
doesn't want to believe it, and they, so they don't want to hear it at all. That's also, you know, in play in many cases. All right, that part of the show. We switch gears. We go around, and it may not be the biggest story out there, but it caught your attention. Today, David, what's your story? I saw this in the Canadian news outlet, the National Post. The headline reads, Canadian court to decide if government must pay for surgery to make a vagina if patient also wants to keep penis. What? So there's this person. Uh, he's a guy, 33-year-old KS is how he's being identified in court. Um, born male, identifies as female dominant and uses a feminine name, but he says he's non-binary. He's actually three people in one. It used to be that we'd put that person in a straight jacket and sent them to a padded cell and heavily medicated help. them until they stopped hearing voices in their heads. But now apparently the loving thing is saying, yeah, let's let's like have taxpayer dollars finance your sex change operation. It's crazy to me. What he wants is the government to cover uh, his getting the, you know, the, I'll try to I'll try to be nice about this. I'll try to you know, use code a little bit. Okay. It's a man, baby. He wants to keep Mr. Kanish in addition to getting Miss Francis. Okay, I was going to say having your cake. Right, okay. Uh, no, I'm not going to use that one. So why? Why? Why do you want so, that? So he wants. He doesn't want to get rid of Mr. Kanish because Mr. Kanish is a buddy of his, and he, he he's worried about potential side effects of having Mr. Kanish evicted off of his body, but he still wants to invite <laughs> Miss Francis over for tea. And so he says the Canadian government would pay for me to have Miss Francis move in, but, uh, but and would have would pay for Mr. Kanish to be evicted, but they won't do both. So that's discriminatory. Because I, oh my goodness, he wants he wants Miss Francis to be the, I guess for show or I don't know I have no idea. My apologies wow. to anybody listening named Francis. By the way, it was just the first name yeah. that came off the uh, off the top of my head. Okay, so he but he wants to keep it. Yeah, a according to legal documents, he's arguing that to ignore the other third of me. Uh, or it would be uh, to have it removed would be to ignore the other third of me because he thinks he's three people. Um, right. uh, he says he is both, not exclusively one or the other, but literally a mix. Okay. What, does he think he could just put it back on when he wants? I, like the old King Missile song? Yes. Yeah. Detachable. Yeah. I don't even know if you can play that. Can you play that? I haven't heard it in years. That was in the 90s. Yeah. I woke up this morning with a bad hangover, <laughs> and my penis was missing again. Yeah, it was missing. But I want to keep it in case I want to reattach. I, well, I think, no, 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 he wants to keep it attached. He wants to keep it attached? Yes. Okay. So it would be, again, Mr. Kanish and Miss Francis cohabitating. I'm not. Oh, got it. All right. I, I think somewhere along the lines, this guy heard the phrase, go screw yourself, so many times <laughs> that he took it literally. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, for my story today, can't top that, don't want to. Um, I saw the story that explains why you might still love the music that you loved when you were 18. It's a thing called neural nostalgia. Mm-hmm. Researcher researchers are actually finding that the music we listen to as teens bind our brains differently than anything we're ever going to hear as adults. Do you do you believe it? Well, I I think that's just a fancy way of saying what Chris Rock said all those years ago. Okay, which was whenever you started becoming <clears throat> active, that's the best music that you'll ever hear. Hmm. That wouldn't check out for me. But, I mean, there are some... Mu I, I would put it this way. There's some stuff that you loved as a teen that you'll listen to now and go, I don't know how I ever liked it. It well, was really bad. Limp Biscuit is one of them. For me. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it, there's different ones. But there are some others that you may say, okay, I'm not saying 
that is going to win awards for great, well thought out lyrics, but I like it because I like the guitars. I like, you know, just rock sort of stuff, I mm -hmm. guess. Um, quote from the the research said, we are discovering music on our own for the first time when we're young, often through our friends. We listen to the music they listen to as a badge, as a way of belonging to a certain social group. That's also, for at least for me, not true, because I had an older brother and an older sister. And so I would oftentimes, you know, start listening to stuff they had, and then you would sort of branch out on your own, I guess. <laughs> I'll go ahead and admit it. I did watch a documentary, and when you were off last week, Robbins and I mentioned that on the same day in 1984, the Rat debut album and Love It First Thing from the Scorpions came out. And uh, I couldn't day believe it. Yeah. It was incredible. And I could not believe it that, and of course, something's listening to us all the time. It pops up on a YouTube feed on Friday. There's a documentary on the making of Love It First Sting from the Scorps. Do you think I clicked on it? Of course I did. <laughs> yes, it was incredible, man. <laughs> You know, they almost called this song, it was bleepy like a hurricane. It's so Spinal Tap. And the record label had a problem. Well, of course. It's so hilarious. Of all the albums that needs a making of documentary. It that, does. That one would not have made my top 100. It's like... It's because you have no appreciation for the Scorps. And shame on you for that. It's like so, Sergeant Pepper's, you know... Dark Side of the Moon, <laughs> love it for Sting. <laughs> oh, yeah, they do a whole thing about how they came up with the album cover. It <laughs> <laughs> took a lot of brain power, yeah. It was, it, was, it was incredible. I still got that cough. Okay, uh, on a serious note, Biden slamming Israel again. We'll get to that and much more. Great ahead. Out of all the things we do to maintain and protect our homes, getting up on a ladder to clean out the gutters is one of the last things you want to do. It's time to upgrade to a permanent solution with Leaf Filter. Right now, you can save up to 30% off your entire purchase at leaffilter.com forward slash Markley. Protect your home from flooding, roof damage, rotting siding, foundation issues, and more. Leaf Filter uses award-winning patented technology to keep out everything but water. Every installation comes with free inspection, estimate, and lifetime guarantee. An investment in Leaf Filter is an investment engineered to protect your whole home. Protect your home and never clean out gutters again with Leaf Filter, America's number one gutter protection system. Schedule your free inspection and get up to 30% off your entire purchase at leaffilter.com forward slash Markley. That's a free inspection and up to 30% off at leaffilter.com slash Markley. See representative for warranty details. Promotion is 20% off plus 10% senior or military discount. One discount per household. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus a hundred bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Do you hear that? Asthma triggers are everywhere. From dust mites, pet dander, and pollen, to smog and smoke, an asthma attack can strike anywhere, anytime. Be prepared with quick-acting primatine mist. Clinically proven to open airways quickly. It's the number one FDA-approved asthma inhaler available over-the-counter. Primatine Mist. Breathe easy again. Use as directed. Jordan B. Peterson, We Who Wrestle With God Tour. If you say the truth and nothing else, you'll have an immense adventure as a consequence. You won't know what's going to happen to you, but the truth 
will reveal the world the way it's intended to be revealed. And the consequence for you will be that you'll have the adventure of your life. Jordan B. Peterson, live at Paycom Center, Saturday, April 13th. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. This is the home of Talk Radio's new generation, KOKC, powered by Parrish Devon, official personal injury lawyers of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Visit PepperWins.com. Jim Norton Toyota's got your back. And right now at Jim Norton Toyota, you can have six car payments made for you when you buy or lease any new or pre-owned vehicle. Jim Norton Toyota's got your back with super low rates and an optional three-year vehicle return plan and a $12,500 payment waiver that you can use when you need it most. Hey, it's a better, safer way to finance your next new or pre-owned vehicle, and it's available with Jim Norton Toyota's exclusive golden payment waivers. Check it all out at Jim Norton Toyota to OKC.com, then come on out, shop a huge selection of new and pre-owned vehicles with rock-bottom prices and get added protection. And you'll have up to six payments made for you when you need it most. Jim Norton Toyota's got your back. Hey, come on, who else offers a three-year vehicle return plan and up to $12,500 payment waivers? It's available on every new and pre-owned vehicle at Jim Norton Toyota. So check it all out, Jim Norton Toyota, OKC.com, or come and see us at 8401 Northwest Expressway. See dealer details. How do you make sense of all the information out there about retirement, investing, and managing your money? You have questions? We have answers. Tune in to the Financial Forum Show every Saturday morning at 9, live with me, Dwayne McAnally, Certified Financial Planner, and my brother, LaDon McAnally. Call with questions or comment, or call my office at 728-1649. On this week's show, it's still not too late to decrease your taxes for 2023. Do you have multiple years of unfiled taxes or owe more than $8,000? The tax attorneys at Allies Tax Relief are your ally and will stop the IRS from garnishing your wages or them levying your back account. Call 800-230-5174. Join us for the Your Home Soul Guaranteed Radio Show with Wally and Cindy Kerr, Saturdays at 11 a.m. and Sundays at noon on KOKC. Sponsored by Chris Doak at Gateway Mortgage and Best Protect Roofing and Construction. Looking for a new home, selling your existing home, or just have questions about the housing market. With over 35 years of real estate experience, Wally and Cindy are here to make it as easy as possible. Join us Saturdays at 11 and Sundays at noon for your home sold guaranteed radio show with Wally and Cindy Kerr right here on KOKC. 1520 KOKC. The Markley Van Camp and Robbins Show. I'm Jamie Markley. That's David Van Camp. Scott Robbins off today. You know, there's a very common sense reason gold is pushing to all-time highs right now. There's actually a lot of reasons. The cost of goods continues to rise despite interest rate controls by the Fed. And if you look back since January of 21, the cost of living is up 17.9 percent. Yeah, not to mention the national debt continues to skyrocket now above 34 trillion, and that makes a lot of us worry when the whole house of cards is going to come crashing down and a presidential election year that will have massive implications for the future of this country, of course, as well. So it all adds up to instability and uncertainty, and that's why so many Americans are turning to Birch Gold Group. Question is, have you diversified your savings yet? You can secure a portion of them with gold from Birch Gold. All you have to do is text MVCR to 989898 to get your free info kit. You'll learn how to convert an existing IRA or an old 401k into a tax-sheltered IRA in gold, and it doesn't cost you a penny out of pocket. Yeah, they've got an A-plus rating with the Better, uh, Better Business Bureau. They've got tens of thousands of happy customers. You can count on Birch Gold, too. Just text MVCR to 989898. That's MVCR to 989898 to claim your free info kit and protect your savings from uncertainty today. So, Biden big mad at Israel again? Yeah, uh, well, there's this terrible story out, out of Gaza. There are a lot of terrible stories coming out of Gaza. It's a horrific war. Um, but relief workers with World Central Kitchen were oh. accidentally killed by an Israeli missile strike. That's as the story goes. I mean, just, just awful. Yeah. Um, Joe Biden put out a statement saying, I am outraged and heartbroken by the deaths of seven humanitarian workers, including one American, Incidents like this simply should not happen. Now, Israel is investigating what went wrong. It sounds like they have taken responsibility, and they're saying, listen, we're going to try to figure this out. 
Mm -hmm. Um, And it should be noted before Joe Biden starts spouting off about this. If you remember, during the disastrous Afghanistan withdrawal, the Biden administration bombed an aid worker, killing 10 civilians, including seven children. Uh, And their investigation resulted in zero firings. Oh, that's right. I mean, this has happened many times, unfortunately. I mean, you hate to say, well, this is part of it. But you could come away with that conclusion when you're talking about war. Well, it is. War is not a video game. No, especially when you're talking about areas where there's a lot of civilians and on purpose. That's why Hamas hides where they hide. You know, just a terrible thing. And obviously, Biden doing everything he can to protect the Muslim vote in America right now. Because they're saying, we're not going to vote for you unless you do what we say. So we shall see. Um, Did see this story. And it was on April Fool's, but the, this was for real. But I'll tell you this. The good news is we think these folks are going to be okay. But in Muncie, Indiana, two people were rushed to the hospital after they got hit by an airplane. They got hit by an airplane? Yeah, that's exactly the reaction a lot of people have, saying, what? They were walking on this path, just a walking path, near an airport when a single-engine plane fell out of the sky. And one of them seriously hurt. So was the pilot. But everyone survived. Wow. Even the deputy chief of police called it a bad day. <laughs> well, yeah, you get hit by an airplane. That's a pretty damn bad day. Yeah. You know that old song, had a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, sometimes I will send that to a family member, like as a delight to lighten the mood if you lost yeah. a game or something like that, just to, for a laugh. Yeah, it's a bad day. Yeah, you got hit by a plane. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that. That's not the day to send that video out. (laughs) Unless you want to go legend. I mean. (laughs) This is the Markley Van Camp. What does the future of mobility in Michigan sound like? It's the sound of new EV charging stations at our state parks. It's the sound of 17.5 billion in new investments to produce EVs and batteries in Michigan. And that, that's the silence of Michigan's new in-road wireless charging system. Discover all the ways MEDC is driving next-gen mobility in Michigan at michiganbusiness.org slash radio. Heard the catchphrase that's sweeping the nation? Jackson, Hugh, yeah. People are saying Jackson Hugh yeah to Jackson Hewitt because they love saving money on tax prep. Do you love saving money? Then switch to Jackson Hewitt today and pay less than last year. Thousands of people have already made the switch. Why haven't you? Stop waiting and start filing. You won't get a better deal or a better catchphrase. All together now. Jackson Hugh yeah! Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. When it comes time to replace your roof, dealing with the insurance company can be maddening. Especially when the rules keep changing. So get straightforward information from me, Scott McCollum. And me, Scotty McCollum. We We are are McRoof. McGriff Talks Insurance, answering your questions about insurance restoration on your residential or commercial property claim, live 1 p.m. Saturday on KOKC, AM 1520 and FM 95.3. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheets. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheets. Smelling fresher than ever? It's the sheet. Oh, so soft fabric? Ooh la la. It's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes? You know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. KOKC, Oklahoma City. The Tyler Media Station, entertaining you since 1965. 95.3 FM and 1520 AM. This is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Paul Gauguin Cruises. I'm Monica Ricks. Millions of people are bracing for more strong storms today with tornado watches already in effect in four states in the south and northeast. Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear says his state's already gotten hit hard. A lot of the highway impacts were in central and eastern Kentucky. They included crashes involving large trucks or structures that were blown into roadways. I think we had a barn 
um, uh, on a road. People took cover from tornadoes at a mall in West Virginia. I heard the wall back there collapse and it come tumbling to the ground. It's been certainly not your average day at the mall. Damage assessments are also underway in Texas and Oklahoma. In Taiwan, a massive earthquake killed at least nine people and injured more than a thousand. President-elect William Lai says many more are trapped in rubble. Currently, the most important thing is to rescue people. We need to find out how many people are still trapped and to rescue them as soon as we can. About 70 miners are stuck in two coal mines. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan had to postpone a trip to Saudi Arabia last night due to a cracked rib. He was supposed to be there today to meet with the crown prince for talks on Israel. But the White House says he has to reschedule now. They didn't give too many details on the injury, though, just that he did it to himself. An appeals court heard arguments today on whether a controversial immigration law is constitutional in Texas. CBS's Camilo Montoya Galvez has the latest there. One of the takeaways from this hearing is that there is still a lot of confusion and uncertainty as to how Texas officials will be implementing this law. One of the provisions in this measure allows state judges to issue de facto deportation orders against migrants who are suspected of violating this law. The U.S. Supreme Court put it on pause to keep it from taking effect last month. Special counsel Jack Smith is urging a federal judge in Florida now to keep a presidential record-keeping law out of instructions that would be provided to a jury in former President Trump's classified documents case. Legal analyst Lori Levinson. Smith is arguing that's not a decision for the jury, that in fact these were presidential documents. You can tell that by their classified nature and that they involve national security. Smith has signaled he will appeal if that judge rules against them. Don't forget to buy your Powerball tickets if you plan to play tonight. The jackpot's now up to $1.09 billion. It's the ninth largest U.S. lottery prize ever and the fourth biggest Powerball jackpot ever. No one's won it since New Year's Day. This is CBS News. Brought to you by Paul Gauguin Cruises, French Polynesia's destination expert. Discover all-inclusive luxury cruising in Tahiti and the South Pacific today. Visit pgcruises.com. This statement has not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. When it comes to my lifestyle and diet, I don't always make the smartest choices. Touchdown! Woo! Hey, how about another round and some more chips? But when it comes to taking care of my liver, I do make one very smart choice. Active liver tablets from New Nordic. I used to have real issues with my liver, and at my last checkup, my doc was concerned about my numbers. But since adding a once a day active liver tablet, my gut's better, I feel great, and my doctor's happy. I ask a lot of my liver, so the least I can do to say thanks is a daily dose of active liver. Active liver is one of many award-winning health products from New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Scandinavia. Purchase at Amazon.com or for a volume discount, visit NewNordicUSA.com. Available as a tablet or delicious sugar-free gummy. Protect and help your liver the easy and effective way with active liver at Amazon or NewNordicUSA.com. Meet this year's National Teacher of the Year. She's really kind to others, and every time I see her in the hallway, she always makes me smile. Students at Rogersville City School in Tennessee can't say enough about second grade teacher Missy Testerman, who also heads the English as a Second Language program there. I love teaching because I love being the person who gets to unlock the love of learning and mm. students. Missy got an in-person congrats at our CBS Times Square studio from fellow teacher First Lady Jill Biden, who revealed... When you come to the White House, we are going to have a state dinner for the teachers. Oh. Testerman's been a teacher for more than 30 years. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. Today's the day to treat yourself. It is the famous free cone day at Ben and Jerry's. It's a tradition that's been going on since 1979, and there's no limit on how many cones you can get either, as long as you just hit the back of the line every time. Monica Ricks, CBS News. How do you make sense of all the information out there about retirement, investing, and managing your money? You have questions? We have answers. Tune into the Financial Forum Show every Saturday morning at 9, live with me, Dwayne McAnally, certified financial planner, and my brother, LaDon McAnally. Call with questions or comment or call my office at 728-1649. On this week's show, it's still not too late to decrease your taxes for 2023. 
Jordan B. Peterson, We Who Wrestle With God Tour. If you say the truth and nothing else, you'll have an immense adventure as a consequence. You won't know what's going to happen to you, but the truth will reveal the world the way it's intended to be revealed, and the consequence for you will be that you'll have the adventure of your life. Jordan B. Peterson, live at Paycom Center, Saturday, April 13th. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. Are you ready? Jamie Markley, David Van Camp, and Scott Robbins. We just become best friends, yep. Making sense of it all. Now I get it. And having some fun. Lighten up, Francis. This is the Markley, Van Camp, and Robbins. Jamie Martin, David Van Camp, Scott Robbins is out today. Should be back tomorrow. John Kirby yesterday asked about a person here illegally murdering a woman in Michigan. Yeah, Ruby Garcia is the victim's name. She was murdered. Uh, the killer is an illegal immigrant, and he has apparently confessed uh, to doing it. Now, uh, Donald Trump was in Michigan yesterday. Uh, meeting with law enforcement, speaking in front of law enforcement, and talked about this and the, the, the murder of Lake and Riley and crime in general that has resulted from a Biden's border crisis. And now he's calling it Biden's border bloodbath. So, of course, from what I understand, right, this particular guy in Michigan was deported. Yeah. Because of the Biden policies, came back in. Yep. Unbelievable. So, of course, media is worried about the language, not the situation, not the crisis, but the language that Trump uses. Uh, Biden's border bloodbath. How dare they? How dare he say something like that? That's putting people's lives at risk uh, or something. So White House spokesman John Kirby was asked about uh, his thoughts on this situation. Okay. Why don't we let the judicial process play out here before we start making grandiose bumper sticker comments about what this says about the border? And oh, Peter, to on. folks that are concerned about border security, <laughs> President would be the first one to stand up here and say he agrees. The border. No, he doesn't. He could have stopped this a long time ago. Sure they just can. keep lying about this day after day after day. The border does need some security uh, capabilities. That we do need more border patrol agents and. All that has to happen is for the speaker to do his job, put that supplemental on the floor, let's get a vote. Mm -hmm. Why didn't they start rebuilding the wall? Uh, that's a good question. If they're so serious about it. Because they're not serious about it. No. <laughs> I don't even know. Has anyone even asked that question? I'm sure someone has. I just don't remember hearing it. Probably somewhere along the way. Like, why did... Joe Biden canceled the contracts or not cancel, just not fulfill them um, that were ready to go on day one. Why did he why did he not do that? And the border wall fencing that was in stacks along the border yeah. just left to rust. Yes. Doesn't make any sense. Now all of a sudden, oh, politically, this doesn't help me. Yeah, we're serious about it. We're just not going to do anything. Right. Got it. OK, um, we'll let the process play out. I don't think we have time for that. And, and talking about it earlier, as far as the American people, this isn't just people on the right. This is all across demographics across the country. Yeah. And in a lot of urban areas have had enough with the illegal immigration. And this was in Chicago again. Yeah, this woman spoke at the Chicago City Council meeting and called out local leaders who are prioritizing illegals over citizens. Yep. Stop feeling like you're a bad person for calling them illegals. Stop letting our enemies gaslight us into believing we are racist or anti immigrant yes. Right. Yes. Speak, girl. Speak. Oh, man, this is different. Group of people saying, hey, don't call us racist because we're calling out something. Yeah. She's absolutely right. A good person is an empowered. A good person stands up at their neighbors. Yes. Speak. I'll finish with my favorite Martin Luther King Jr. quote. And I hope my fellow Americans ponder this. He once said, the question is not whether we will be extremists, but what kind of extremists we will be. Yeah. Well, people can only be pushed so far. And, you know, certainly that can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. But...
I mean, when you have a situation where people are watching their neighborhoods, especially if you look in, in Chicago and other major metros, where a lot of these illegals are being dumped, it's not the rich neighborhoods. No, it is not. It's a lot of the quote-unquote underserved communities that are being now asked to shoulder this burden because they're not politically connected, because they don't have a voice, because they're not uh, contributing to uh, some politician's campaign. They are considered the dregs of society. So well, let's just let the, the other dregs of society live yep. in your neighborhood. You're not a, you don't matter enough. And I, I think it's a tough hill to get over. But more people, and I'm glad she she put it out. Don't you know? Stop letting our enemies define us as racist, right? Because we have a problem with this. You have to get over, you know, any sort of aversion to being called it called racist, xenophobic. You got to realize those words don't mean anything anymore. Yeah, this was years ago. Now we're like, okay, so if I believe A, B, and C, that makes me racist. Well, fine, then I'm racist. Yeah, by your definition. But who cares what your definition is? Right. You're seeking truth in the end. And, man, when she talked about extremism, that just reminded me of something that I saw last night. It was Victor Davis Hanson, Hoover Institute, who I often, and I don't mean this, um, I hope he wouldn't be, you know, like, hurt that I call him, like, a grandfatherly figure, <laughs> especially me at my age now, or, or a very wise uncle from the Hoover Institute. I saw he put this out, which he said, why are they destroying us? And I'm like, okay, it's worth a read, I suppose. And he said, if someone wished to destroy America, could he do anything more catastrophic than what we currently see and hear each day? What would um, an enemy do that we have not already done to ourselves? Here are 11 now familiar steps to civilizational destruction. Okay, do we have time? Sure. I'll make it fast. Yeah. I'll go through it fast. Wipe out a 2,000-mile border. Allow 10 million foreign nationals to enter unlawfully. Have no audit of any. And it goes on from there. Run up $35 trillion in national debt. Keep adding a trillion to it each 100 days. Next. Appease or subsidize enemies like Iran and China. Demonize allies like Israel. Uh, check. Next. In a multiracial democracy, redefine identity only as one's tribal affiliation. Ensure each identity group rivals the other for victimhood, and the state spoils it, confers. We see that playing out all the time. Redefine violent crime as understandable, cry-of-the-heart expressions of social justice. Yeah. Certainly seen that. Emasculate the military by using um, non-meritocratic standards of race, gender, and sexual orientation to determine promotion and condemnation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, reinvent the justice system to indict, bankrupt, convict, jail, and eliminate political opponents. Check. Yeah. Encourage the fusion of the bureaucratic state with the electric media to form a powerful force uh, for political audit, surveillance, censorship, and coercion. Yeah. Seen that. Make war on affordable gasoline and natural gas. Yep. Marry late, but preferably not at all. Consider males toxic, especially boys. Have no children, or as few as possible. We're seeing that in statistics we've never seen before. Mm -hmm. Turn world-class universities into indoctrination centers. Seen it before yeah. our eyes. There's your 11. He's spot on with that. And as that lady said in Chicago, and they're calling us the extremists? Yeah. For pointing out the illegal immigration problem? Give me a break. By the way, on the topic of electric vehicles, uh, Pete Buttigieg, Transportation Secretary, was on Fox yesterday. Um, and John Roberts, who I'd like to hang out with John Roberts, I just want to say. I know he's a guitar player, um, and I know you'll laugh at me for this, David, but yeah. a few weekends ago, I watched a documentary on the Canadian power trio Triumph. Of course. Of course Which featured John Roberts talking about the band, because he's from Canada. I didn't even know that. It's pretty fascinating. Anyway, John Roberts is interviewing Mayor Pete about electric vehicles and sets it up this way. Tesla sales fell 8.5% the first quarter of this year. Ford this week is laying off two-thirds of its workforce at the F-150 electric lightning plant. It's also scaling back a battery production facility because of sagging sales. EV sales are nowhere near what this president wanted or expected. 
Yet the administration continues to shove them down consumers' throats. Why? Okay, just remember that question. Why did they do this? Yeah. I mean, it's obvious. There's not much hunger for them right now, correct? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's be clear. Consumers have wanted and purchased more EVs every single year than the year before. And, uh, you know, Tesla is facing more competition as GM and Ford and Stellantis and other competitive players. Hold on a second. You're rolling your eyes like crazy. Well, it's it's the whole thing of, well, Tesla. But, and this is part of it, not to not to, you know, slam your Canadian BFF, John Roberts, but you know, bringing up the sales of, of, of Tesla. I've seen a lot of people do that. Those cuts are across the board. I mean, the, the amount of how much they've missed the mark when it comes to production versus delivery of, of mm -hmm. vehicles is astounding. And that's Ford, that's GM, that's Tesla. That's all of them. I just want to say it takes more than the love of triumph to be my BFF. Okay. I just said I'd like to hang. That's oh, all. I got, got you. You want to okay, No hang romance out. here. Hang just out. hang out first and see where it goes. Hang out, see where it goes. Yeah, right. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Pete goes on. Uh, start to make sure they get a piece of the EV market. Let's be clear that uh, the automotive sector is moving toward EVs, and we can't pretend otherwise. Sometimes when these debates happen, I feel like it's the early 2000s, and I'm talking to some people who uh, think that we can just have landline phones forever. Who, <laughs> who was making that argument? I've never heard it before. I don't that's remember that. Fr that's fresh for him. I mean, I'm, I was in high school when, when cell phones were becoming more and more common, among adults, right. I mean, none none of the kids in my high school, well, what, maybe two or three, mm -hmm. had a cell phone, actually. I didn't have my first cell phone until I was, I think, a senior in high school. Right. Um, and everyone was saying, this is awesome. No one was like, landline from my cold, dead hands. Nobody. No, there was. That's just it. That's why it's the false argument there. Yeah, and there was a demand for, for it because it was convenient and awesome. Yes, and everyone wanted to get one. Yeah, it's not like we're sold out. We can't make them fast enough. Right. These EVs. No, talk to dealers. Go out and talk to real people that run these lots, and they're like, we can't move them. These things, and go through a winter with them. Yeah. You can't get them started. It's insanity. All right, there's much more to get to. Um, you know what else we got to get to? Is all of a sudden it got. Highlighted that the LSU women's basketball team. Planning for spring at Lowe's means big savings on outdoor power equipment. And Lowe's knows nothing feels better than free. Buy one select Ego string trimmer, leaf blower, or mower kit. Get one select 56-volt battery free. That's up to a $299 value. Power through spring with Ego, the number one rated brand in cordless outdoor power. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid through 4-3 while supplies last. Selection varies by location. Attention business owners, stop throwing your hard-earned money away on rent. Imagine owning your own building and saving thousands every year. Sound impossible? Not if you use General Steel. General Steel can help you save thousands by owning your own custom-designed building. Call 877-92-STEEL. That's 877-92-STEEL. To see how much money you can save with General Steel, our buildings come with a 50-year warranty and thousands of companies from Fortune 500 corporations to startups have trusted the General with their building needs. If you need to expand or start a new business, you really need General Steel. I'm very impressed with General Steel. Everyone's been extremely helpful. I'd recommend General Steel to anyone looking to build a steel building. Call 877-92-STEEL to find out how quickly your business can move into one of our quick construction kits, like a 50 by 100 perfect for the small business owner, or a 200 by 450 favorite of the Fortune 500. Just call 877-92-STEEL. That's 877-92-STEEL. My doctor told me my cholesterol is borderline. 
So I took control with Garlic Healthy Cholesterol Formula. Garlic helps maintain healthy cholesterol safely and naturally. It's odor and taste free, and Garlic is a world leader in garlic potency. I'm taking charge of my cholesterol with Garlic Healthy Cholesterol Formula, cholesterol's natural enemy. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. The term natural reference is only the garlic in the product. Use as directed. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. This is the home of Talk Radio's new generation, KOKC, powered by Parrish Devon, official personal injury lawyers of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Visit PepperWinds.com. Looking for a mower, tractor, utility vehicle, or piece of construction equipment? Check out the full lineup of Kubotas at Great Plains Kubota. When you want more than just a Kubota, you need the brand that serves. Great Plains Kubota. Visit GPKubota.com for the location nearest you. Attention, Norman and OKC. Sooner Kia slashing payments on brand new Kias. Right now, I got 22 new Kias under 222 a month. These days, car payments have gotten way out of hand. But at Sooner Kia, you can choose from 22 new Kias in stock, all available for under 222 per month. Like a 2024 Kia Seltos. This month, just 222 per month. Yes, a brand new 2024 Kia Seltos for just 222 per month. Don't want a Seltos? Then choose from other great Kia models, like a 2024 Kia Forte, Soul, and more. All for under 222 per month. Feeling stuck in a loan or lease? Sooner Kia is here to get you released. Even if you owe up to eight grand more than your trade is worth. I'm Aaron Leger, and if you're tired of crazy high car payments, get to Sooner Kia today and choose from 22 brand new Kias for under 222 per month. With approved credit through KFA, full retail. Negative equity may be refinanced. Offers may not combine. 36 month lease, 3495 US signing, plus tax tag license, stock acquisition fee, and first month's payment. 10,000 miles per year, zero security deposit. Expires 4524. Hi, I'm John. And I'm Amy, and we're Integrity Home Buyers, and we buy houses for cash. We're the local husband and wife team in the Metro that pays cash fast for as-is properties in any condition and any price range. We buy inherited houses, vacant houses, bad renter houses, foreclosures, storm damage houses, even nicer homes in good condition that you need to sell fast. We buy land, multifamily units, and mobile homes on acreage. Best of all, you don't pay any commission or fees. There's no banks involved and no realtors. Which means no showings, no inspections, and no hassle. We buy your property as-is. Don't repair a thing or even clean up. We're local and live right here in Oklahoma City. We know the market and can typically offer you more for your property than out-of-state investors. Give us a call before you list it. We'd love to help with your situation. Call 405-883-0000. That's Integrity Home Buyers at 405-883-0000. That's 405-883-0000. 1520 K. I'm Jamie Markley, the Gen Xer, David Van Camp, the Millennial, the Sexy Boomer. Scott Robbins out today. Should be back tomorrow. It is time for our update. It's the Markley, Van Camp, and Robbins 2024. 2024. Are you running? Are you not running? No BS <laughs> update. Everything you need to know without all the crap. I'm not doing no research. Absolutely. Yeah, what he said. Yeah. All right, David, what do you got today? Well, the governor of Nebraska has come out in support of a bill that could have huge implications for the 2024 election. And I love this. I love watching Republicans actually play offense for once. Uh, so for most of the country, this has to do with the electoral votes out of the state of Nebraska. For most of the country, all of a state's electoral votes go to the person who won the popular vote. So if you win a majority in Texas you get all 40 votes. If you win Illinois, you get all 19 votes and so on. But in Nebraska and Maine, they do it a little differently. They have a system where you can get electoral votes theoretically, even if you lost the state. In Nebraska, they've got five votes available for the electoral college, what actually elects our presidents. 
Um, if you win the state, you get two of them automatically. The other three are decided based on who wins in each of the state's congressional districts. So, for example, in 2020, Joe Biden won the state's second district. That's the Omaha area, picking up one electoral vote in the state of Nebraska. Whereas Trump got the other four. Now, the governor of Nebraska is pushing for a bill that would get rid of that and make it a winner-take-all state. Let's make it simpler. Let's, you know, not have to have this, you know, who won Omaha versus who won the rest of the state. No, we're just going to have one election decide the state because that's more in line with the, the, the structure of the Electoral College. Now, why this matters is because if it's a narrow contest, which many people, myself included, believe it will be very mm-hmm very closely decided. Joe might actually need that one vote. Uh, Politico's Jonathan Lemire was freaking out about it. I bet the left is freaking. Oh, yeah. This means that if Biden can't get the one electoral vote from the Omaha area and he loses all the swing states except for Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, he would only get 269 electoral votes. You need 270 to win the the White House. (laughs) That's great, man. So he's saying the easiest path, meaning like mm-hmm. you can basically lose uh, every state you think you need, uh, but for three. Uh, and as long as you pick up that one electoral vote, you'll be golden. The easiest path for Joe Biden to become president is uh, gone completely. Wow. You know, there was something else as far as an election update. I have no idea how they come up with ideas of how they're going to run say commercials on broadcast there during sporting events yeah. like if for trump there's one with biden man that and maybe they've done this and i don't remember it but you know we know he lies all the time but he's lied forever and there are so many people in the country that think well he's just he was always a good guy but maybe he's lost his way and i saw this old clip running around online last night and it wasn't about the plagiarism it was the outright lies about him in college. Do you remember this? This would have been ABC News like, shoot, man, 35 years ago. Yeah. Now, or or longer than that, 37 years ago. Explaining to do, the new question stemmed from taped remarks of Biden during an April campaign appearance in New Hampshire. 88. I went to law school on a full academic scholarship, the only one in my my class uh, to have a full academic scholarship. Went back to law school and, in fact, ended up in the top half of my class. I was the outstanding student in the political science department at the end of my year. I graduated with three degrees from undergraduate school and 165 credits, only 123 credits. Biden now concedes he did not graduate in the top half of his law school class, that he does not have three degrees from college, and that he was not named outstanding political science student in college. Newsweek says Biden actually went to school on a half scholarship, ended up near the bottom of his class, and won only one degree, not three. Joe Biden ranked 76th in a class of 85 at the University of Syracuse Law School. See, I think that would be a great commercial. I I think so, yes. Even today. This is the Barkley Van Camp and Robin Show. Okay, biggest story today, David. The guy just lies so effortless, effortlessly. Oh, it's like breathing for him. And I, I mean, it's it's so funny watching it because that's never gone away. And I'll, I'll go back to a take I've had for years now. But the the most brilliant thing that the Obama campaign in 2008 pulled off was turning this guy into like lunch pail Joe, because he was a laughing stock before that. Nobody loved Joe Biden. Until Barack Obama and his team completely revamped his image in 2008. I'll bet you there's at least 10 people I know that if you were to play that for them, they have no recollection of it at all. It's wild, man. All right. We get to a news update and controversy straight ahead. You can do that? At Impressions Printing, we are daily surprising our customers with our ability to bring their ideas to life. Whether your project is an updated business card or an event invite, or you need a new sign, vehicle wrap, wall wrap, or an entire office makeover, we are here to make sure it happens. 
See what we can do online at impressionsprinting.com and let us help you find your next you can do that moment. You're going to love what you see. Jim Norton Toyota's got your back. And right now at Jim Norton Toyota, you can have six car payments made for you when you buy or lease any new or pre-owned vehicle. Jim Norton Toyota's got your back with super low rates and an optional three-year vehicle return plan and a $12,500 payment waiver that you can use when you need it most. Hey, it's a better, safer way to finance your next new or pre-owned vehicle, and it's available with Jim Norton Toyota's exclusive golden payment waivers. Check it all out at Jim Norton Toyota okc.com then come on out shop a huge selection of new and pre-owned vehicles with rock bottom prices and get added protection and you'll have up to six payments made for you when you need it most jim norton toyota's got your back hey come on who else offers a three-year vehicle return plan and up to twelve thousand five hundred dollar payment waivers it's available on every new and pre-owned vehicle at jim norton toyota so check it all out jim norton toyota okc.com or come and see us at 8401 northwest expressway cd for details Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. We fix garage doors fast and with quality parts designed to last a lifetime. Replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home. Call A1 Garage today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. What's holding you back from learning the language you've always wanted to speak? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's lessons take just 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes isn't long. Nope. And they're fun. Fun isn't hard. Right. Babbel's interactive lessons, podcasts, games, and more make languages fun and engaging. You might even forget you're learning. And Babbel's lessons are built around real life. Babbel teaches language skills you'll actually use about travel, business, relationships, and more. You'll learn what matters most to you. Plus, Babbel's lessons are designed to get you having real conversations in as little as three weeks. Just three weeks? Even better. Since Babbel's lessons are voiced by real native speakers, you'll get pronunciation just right and be able to carry on conversations with confidence. Learning a language with Babbel doesn't take long. And with Babbel, it isn't hard. It's It's perfect. perfect. Get Babbel. It starts here. Go to Babbel.com to try for free. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. Before I came to the nerve renewal clinic, I had difficulties walking, my feet burning, no sleep at night, and couldn't play with my grandchildren. My name is Sarah, and I'm a nurse practitioner here at Nerve Renewal Neuropathy Clinic. One of the things I see all the time is patients that were having difficulty falling asleep due to pain. After coming to nerve renewal, our patients are able to sleep better at night, play with their grandchildren more, and go for walks without being in a lot of pain. And since I've been coming here, I can finally walk better, sleep better, and be able to do the activities with my grandchildren. If you're living with pain, call Nerve Renewal today. You really have nothing to lose and most insurances do cover it and you could improve your quality of life. If you're suffering from pain, burning, or numbness due to neuropathy, schedule your consultation with Nerve Renewal now. Our non-invasive treatments are covered by Medicare, VA, and most insurance companies and could have you pain-free within a few short weeks. With five convenient locations in OKC, Edmond, Norman, and Midwest City, relief is right around the corner. Call 405-674-4949. That's 405-674-4949. Or visit Nerve Renewal now. Spring is finally here, and the Greens Country Club is ready to help you and your family enjoy it to the fullest. The Greens boasts a premier golf experience, the most celebrated pickleball and tennis in the state, private member-only dining, and a calendar packed with events for all ages. Come find out what makes us so special. Is pickleball or tennis your game? Our award-winning racket facility offers options for all ages and skill levels, along with some of the top teaching pros in the country. Enjoy an array of fresh menu selections in the Twisted Oak Tavern from Chef Chris, and gain exclusive access to our members only speakeasy the new green room offers the perfect mix of amenities and comfort whether you're looking to play around on our multi-sport simulator enjoy perfectly crafted cocktails and cuisine with friends or family or watch the big game the green room has it all enroll this spring and save golf memberships start as low as 425 a month and new racketed social members pay no fee to join and save as much as 600 in their first year to find out more contact the membership office at 405-751-6266 or email join at the green cc.com all right the markley van camp and robin show jamie markley david van camp scott robbins out he should be back tomorrow um 
Illegals got busted with guns. Where was this, David? Oh, this is in New York in the Bronx. Uh, police have arrested several illegal aliens who they found squatting in a home in the Bronx with guns and drugs. This happened actually last week, but we're getting news of it now, courtesy of WABC. Uh, officials say they chased one of the guys who uh, tried to run away with a gun. They got they caught him. But what happened was they're, they're squatting in this house that's right across the street from a school. And one of the guys was seen with a gun outside. And so the cops get called and they show up. Authorities got a search warrant. They found two more loaded guns in addition to the one that was being held by the illegal immigrant who was trying to run. Uh, three loaded extended magazines. They found ammo and a bag of ketamine mixed with cocaine. Well, you got to understand, David, I'm sure they were just good hearted asylum seekers. Yeah. And the country of origin, they probably felt were trying to track them down and get them. So they were yeah. arming themselves. Right. Exactly. A seven year old child was also found in the home. Holy smokes. Uh, two of the people with the guns had open cases, one for an attempted murder in Yonkers, and wow. one uh, walking around with an open gun indictment. And wouldn't you know it, six of the eight people who were arrested are already out. you got to be kidding me. Nope. Obviously joking about being asylum seekers. Uh, asylum from the police, I guess, and now they're out? Yeah. What do you got to do to stay in jail there? You got... I mean, dude, you got, you, you're you you're here illegally, at least many of, if not all of them, are here illegally. You've got hard drugs, ketamine and cocaine, along with well, illegally obtained handguns. We need to do something about gun violence in and, America. And yes. a child in the home. Background check. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna hold you. No, I mean no no problem. No, you're just asylum seekers. See. Okay, <laughs> got to jump through hoops to own a firearm. Law-abiding citizens, we hear this all the time. More background checks, more yeah. this, more that. It never affects well, the criminals. They're getting them illegally. And, and then you find somebody with, what is it, extended mags? Yeah. Loaded. In New York, that means like 12 rounds, but... Still. Yeah, and I don't know what, what, how, what the capacity was, but... But pretty well armed. Yeah. Now let's let them out. Sure. It's insanity. Yeah. Yeah, one of the guys, again, was already charged with attempted murder for shooting another person in the leg. Okay, if you're here illegally and you're charged with attempted murder, no, you got to stay in jail <laughs> until your trial. How is this? How does this make any sense other than, well, the the progressive left wants to destroy America, and yep. so why not prioritize the well-being of criminals in order to turn the rest of the population into sheep? And isn't the current talking point from the left, by the way, statistics of people in America commit more crimes than illegals do? Dude, they're, they're going back to that, okay? okay? MSNBC reporter Vaughn Hilliard was breaking down Trump's stop in Michigan. Trump was talking about the wave of crime being committed by illegal aliens across the country. And the reporter went right back to the old leftist talking point. Oh, fantastic. Right on cue. Here we go. Americans have heard this sort of, this sort of severe immigration rhetoric for a long time. But frankly, <laughs> the data does not bear out the fact that undocumented immigrants kill Americans at any greater rate than uh, uh, legal Americans, if you will. But that is the difficult part here, and especially when you're dealing with devastating, tragic stories like uh, Lake and Riley's in Georgia. And Donald Trump has made it clear that he is going to try to politically use yeah. those tragedies for the political game. Well, the dad is not as emotional as a, as a grieving family. Yeah, the, the people who willingly call me a murderer because I own guns. Yeah. They say it's my fault that the massacre at Uvalde happened. Yeah. Are now saying, you know, just because there's this data about, you know, illegal immigrants killing people doesn't mean that it's really that big of an issue. You need to get out of your emotional fields. The point is, is that if you have somebody who is here who is not supposed to be here, who in many cases has already been or would be eligible for deportation under existing federal law, and they're allowed 
to walk around in the streets of America. That makes it worse than somebody who is here illegally who kills somebody. Because that person should never have been here to begin with to commit the crimes that they committed. It's yeah. infuriating. The other thing is the data is all sorts of skewed because different police departments report illegal immigrants in a different manner. Some places are sanctuary jurisdictions and uh, don't make notes of those things. You know, something else, too. When the media does the thing on mass shootings, we've already seen it fill in the number 300 yeah. mass shootings so far this year. Okay, and what's the criteria again for a mass shooting as uh, far as media is concerned? Four or more people shot in a single event. Okay. Have you ever seen it? This was making its way online. Uh, and it was from either last year or the year before. Because, you know, with those type of statistics, there would be over 700 mass shootings mm -hmm. in a year, right? And then it has wait, almost like a billboard of all the mugshots of the people that committed the crimes. Yeah. Okay? It's something they won't talk about because it doesn't fit narratives. Ooh. They if you if you put out that image, uh all the people who are talking about gun violence would call you racist. But it's factual. Mm -hmm. We're just going with the facts. These are the ones that committed these crimes. I don't have anything against anybody of any color. But you can't ignore the fact that a lot of these are gang-related shootings, mm -hmm. and a lot of these shooters are young black males. But that doesn't fit a narrative with media, so they will not report on that part. No. Nope. And they still won't do anything about people in possession of guns illegally, like these illegals or so many of the gangbangers. Yeah. So they're really not serious about doing anything about gun violence. N no, it's about targeting... Uh, Amer law-abiding Americans who want to exercise their Second Amendment rights. Those are the people they want to disarm, because as soon as you can disarm law-abiding citizens, then pff, you can do whatever you want as a government. Look at Australia. Look at New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, moving on. This is interesting. Talking about somebody that used to be in media, sports media, but left. Sage Steele, if you remember from mm -hmm. ESPN. She's working with Bill Maher now, which is kind of wild. Because he knows she's conservative, but he still wants her to be able to do her show under his platform. So hats off to him for that. Yeah. I don't agree with him on a lot. He gets a little wishy-washy, whatever. But it was interesting because she's doing this interview with Daily Wire about it. And in it, she talks about when she had to interview Biden in 2021 during COVID. And then, you know, it was the reopening in a lot of different places. And then the vaccine mandates, all of that was, you know, starting to kick in. And so she said, yeah, we were Disney owned, of course, at ESPN. And there was a vaccine mandate. And she had done her research and said, My, it usually takes six, eight years before it comes back. And, you know, it's safe. And she wasn't thrilled about doing it, but she wanted to keep her job. And so she did it. And she was on a podcast saying she was against the mandates and made this point, which I think is really true. If I had said, listen, all these anti-vaxxers are being quite selfish and don't care about their neighbors or their coworkers or their families and just get it and care about, I would have been celebrated. The other comments I made about race and being biracial versus Barbara Walters and people telling me I should identify as black, even though I'm black and white. If, if, if I had said the other idea, I, I feel like I would have been celebrated and that's where the hypocrisy was and that's why I stood up. So anyway, long story short, you know, she ended up leaving there, yeah. suing, which, you know, good for her. But part of what she was talking about, she had to interview Biden, but they told her, do not, you are not going to deviate from these questions. These are the questions that you ask him. She said it was just so structured. And I was told you will say every word that we write out, do not deviate. And she said it was gone over dozens of times by many editors and executives. Again, I was on script and told not to deviate. Um, and she said she actually it said it was such a strange uh, sort of interview uh, because it was, she said, heartbreaking considering his mental acuity. <laughs> said that, uh, what was it? Didn't know what was going on just before he sat down. Said, I had to chit-chat waiting uh, for us to start rolling. She said, of course, he has someone next to him. 
and they keep a black like curtain over the lens of the camera so you can't see him until the last second noon yeah. but you can hear and we're chit-chatting and i hear him he says well what's this for and who am i talking to what what's her name He's trying to get it all straight before he goes on. And so I rewatched that interview. And it's really something. Um, if you want to hear just, you know, a quick clip or two. Oh, sure. Um, because in retrospect now, looking back at it, a couple of years after this, you know, happened, what it was like at the time and see how well this ages. And the first clip, Sage Steele is going to talk about athletes being a little hesitant to get the vax and then the response. There are people who are hesitant, athletes who are hesitant. So Mr. President, yep. if you're in a clubhouse or a locker room with those athletes, what would you say to those who are hesitant to get vaccinated? I'd say, look, I'm president of the United States. I got vaccinated. You know, it's not, I, I don't have an unimportant job. Would I take the vaccination, the vaccine, if I didn't think, if I thought it was gonna hurt me or affect my capacity? Look, we've done an incredible scientist. It's unintentionally oh, funny yeah, there, isn't it? That is. <laughs> unintentionally very, very funny. Incredible scientific research on the three vaccines that we're using now. <laughs> the J&J, &J, Pfizer, and Moderna. And they work. There's even studies now showing that, hmm. that with the Pfizer, it works on younger people, 15, 16, 17 years old. So we're making progress. But we have to get to the point where... Hmm. Enough people have taken the vaccine, so you've diminished exponentially the prospect of it being able to continue to spread. Oh, really? It'll uh, stop the spread, huh? Yeah, well, that was a lie. Yeah. You know, I carry in my pocket a, uh, a, a, a my schedule, and every single day I have my staff. I don't would I take it out here. You remember this Every now? single day I have my staff list the total number of people who have died as a consequence of, the, of, of this COVID crisis. Remember that whole trick? See, I'm the empathetic part. Right, exactly. You know that. And then one of the questions she asked, well, Texas. Mm -hmm. You know, because Abbott, you know, mass mandate gone. Rangers going to full capacity. Oh, goodness gracious. Texas Rangers say there will not be any attendance restrictions in their stadium this season. That means it could be filled to capacity, Mr. President, 40,000 people with masks required except when actively eating and drinking. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the Rangers' yeah. decision? Well, that's a decision they made. I think it's a mistake. They should listen to Dr. Fauci and the scientists and the experts. Um, and, uh, but uh, I think it's not responsible. It's not responsible. Got that? Yeah. That one doesn't age well. No. No. Really something, though. You may wind up going and winning a World Series, you know? I, a couple years later. Yeah, well. But still. Yeah. I like the way chance. I told it better. I'm sorry. That's right. I should have got the media notes. To just roll with that part. Yeah. You know, of course. Um, by the way, and I always thought Sage Steele did a good job with ESPN. Some people you feel like, okay, they're just putting her there for whatever. She's solid. Always thought she was solid. But you know where there's not equity right now? Where's that? With women's participation. Whistling. Only 9% of women say they're above average at whistling. <laughs> above average. What does an yes. average whistler sound like? I'm not quite sure, but I saw the headline, and all I'm expecting now is whistling equity to come around sometime soon. And we'll cover it. You better believe that. All right. Hey, oh, we're talking about a dude injuring women's basketball players next. Hey, I'm Andy. If you don't know me, it's probably because I'm not famous. But I did start a men's grooming company called Harry's. The idea for Harry's came out of a frustrating experience I had buying razor blades. Most brands were overpriced, overdesigned, and out of touch. At Harry's, our approach is simple. Here's our secret. We make sharp, durable blades and sell them at honest prices for as low as $2 each. We care about quality so much that we do some crazy things, like buy a world-class German blade factory. Millions of guys have already made the switch to Harry's, so thank you if you're one of them. And if you're not, we hope you give us a try soon. Harry's is available online and in-store at a retailer near you. Get a $13 trial set for just 3 bucks at harrys.com slash refresh. That's harrys.com slash refresh. Or check us out at your local Costco for a price you can't find anywhere else. 
Just look for the Chrome Razor with 13 blade refills at your local Costco. You can't miss it. Exclusive to Costco members. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus a hundred bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Do you hear that? Asthma triggers are everywhere. From dust mites, pet dander, and pollen, to smog and smoke, an asthma attack can strike anywhere, anytime. Be prepared with quick-acting primatine mist. Clinically proven to open airways quickly. It's the number one FDA-approved asthma inhaler available over the counter. Primatine Mist. Breathe. IPL के तमाम matches देखने के लिए Hindi English commentary के साथ सिर्फ और सिर्फ हमारे YouTube channel के साथ. अगर अभी तक आपने हमारे channel को subscribe नहीं किया, तो channel को subscribe करके video को like कर लें. The pressures of school, dating, and the future in general can seem overwhelming sometimes. But there are healthy ways to deal with stress, ways to reduce it and channel your energy in positive directions. And you don't have to do it alone. The Will Rogers Institute has a free booklet with some really helpful information. For your free copy, visit WRInstitute.org and find us on Facebook and Twitter. Hi, I'm Jeff Gordon. As a four-time NASCAR champion, nothing is more important to me than winning a race, especially the race to cure children's cancer. Each day, more than 40,000 children are undergoing cancer treatment at hospitals throughout the United States. Cure Search for Children's Cancer supports the research and treatment for 90% of those children. Only research cures children's cancer. Join the Jeff Gordon Children's Foundation in supporting this winning team. Get involved at CureSearch.org. Cancer is a big idea for a small child. She dreams of being a figure skater. We're trying to figure out what to do next. Each school day, two classrooms of children are diagnosed with cancer. The doctor said there's hope. I'll be brave, Mommy. If I could just take her place. It's okay, Daddy. Only research cures childhood cancer. Give today. You can help fund this life-saving research to conquer childhood cancer. Visit CureSearch.org today. Hello, this is Michael Douglas. Pneumonia can be dangerous, especially for older people and for those who have diseases like asthma, emphysema, or chronic bronchitis. Fortunately, there's a vaccine that can immunize people against one of the most common forms of pneumonia. If you're over 60 or have a chronic lung disease, ask your doctor whether a pneumonia vaccine would be right for you. It could protect you from a serious illness or even save your life. A message from the Will Rogers Institute. Visit us at wrinstitute.org. Asthma, chronic bronchitis, emphysema, tuberculosis. These pulmonary diseases affect millions of Americans daily. And if you already suffer from one of these ailments, then you're well aware of the problems that you face. For over 75 years, the Will Rogers Institute has provided health education and research for all. For more information, visit wrinstitute.org or call toll-free 877-957-7575. And find us on Facebook and Twitter, the Will Rogers Institute, since 1936. Kathy Ireland for the Will Rogers Institute. Are you worried that your kids aren't spending enough time being physically active? The best fitness is family activity. Ride bikes, play soccer, or just take a walk through the neighborhood. The important thing is to get your children moving with you. For more information on family activities and fitness, call the Will Rogers Institute. Call toll-free 877-957-7575 or visit wrinstitute.org and find us on Facebook and Twitter. The Markley Van Camp and Robin Show. Jamie Markley, David Van Camp, Scott Robbins out. We'll be back tomorrow. Of course, baseball season is here. Maybe that's why he's gone today. He's just watching some games. Let's hear. Get the biggest moments in basketball and hockey coming. It's a great time to check out Prize Picks. Yeah, get in on the playoff action and the you know the big that I can't really use the phrase that you might know it as the big basketball tournament. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you can win up to 100 times your money on prize picks as you and the world's best players take the game to a new level during basketball's postseason. And you also get injury insurance so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. 
like a League of Legends person. You know, the thumb is all sore and they got to check out. You're covered here. Like for basketball games, as an example, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and doesn't return in the second, Prize Picks will have your back and not count that as a loss. Yeah, uh, Prize Picks is really easy to play. I can make my picks, submit my entries in less than 60 seconds. Uh, they also offer Apple Pay for quick and easy deposits into your account uh, this season. All you got to do is download the app today. You can use code MVCR for a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars. That's code MVCR on Prize Picks for a deposit match up to hundred bucks. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Okay. This is an update on this guy that injured women basketball players. Yeah, remember that uh, the uh, the Kip Academy in Lynn, Massachusetts. This dude yes. is six feet tall. Yeah, says he's a girl playing girls basketball. Injures three girls on the court because I mean he's head and shoulders above everybody. It was ridiculous. Yeah, it it looked like an edgy SNL sketch. If SNL still did, you know, comedy. Uh, if I remember right, they just forfeited that game. They just left. Yeah, you you have to. You, yeah, you, you you can't let your girls get get pummeled like that by some dude. Well, he has uh, played in other girls' sports before, including around the time he had a beard. Painful sports. <laughs> okay. Now, he, according to Australian magazine Quillette, uh, had uh, been part of a rowing team, was suspended and kicked off the team. Uh, the student competed for a private rowing club in Massachusetts before an alleged direct case of harassment in the, in the locker room. Uh, the male athlete was caught staring openly at one of the female athletes while she changed her clothes in the women's locker room and remarked, ooh, T-word that I can't say on the air. The T-word for boobies. For, yes. Whoa. Said that? Yes. He needs his butt kicked. Well, sure he does. You know, you hear different people in media talking about don't want to be on the wrong side of history. For the adults that allowed that to happen, think what people are going to be saying about you in 30 years. How did you let that freaking happen? This is the Mark of Young Camp and Robin Show. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus a hundred bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Angie's List is now Angie, and we've heard a lot of theories about why. I thought it was an eco-move. Fewer words, less paper. No, it was so you could say it faster. No, it's to be more iconic. Must be a tech thing. But those aren't quite right. It's because now you can compare upfront prices, book a service instantly, and even get your project handled from start to finish. Sounds easy. It is, and it makes us so much more than just a list. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I. Or download the app today. The Festival of the Arts returns to Bicentennial Park April 25th through the 28th with more than 150 of the nation's finest artists, 30 food vendors, over 100 performances on multiple stages, and an interactive children's area surrounding City Hall. 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Thursday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, and 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Sunday. Admission is free. Join Arts Council Oklahoma City for four days of spring fun at Festival of the Arts. Visit Arts Council lowkc.com for more are you on track to meet your retirement goals the bull and bear show with michael mcguire can help every saturday at noon we discuss the latest retirement planning strategies and provide listeners with the information they need to make informed decisions about their retirement savings whether you're just starting out or you're nearing retirement the bull and bear show can help you develop a retirement plan that's right for you so if you're serious about retiring comfortably Tune in to the Bull and Bear Show every Saturday at noon on News Talk KOKC. KOKC, Oklahoma City. The Tyler Media Station, entertaining you since 1965. 95.3 FM and 1520 AM. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Progressive Insurance. 
I'm Monica Ricks. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir confirms at least one person has now died in strong storms in his state. The toughest news out of the storm, we have confirmed one weather-related fatality. Uh, this came in Campbell County in uh, a car accident when those first line of strong storms and rain were coming through. A dozen tornadoes have been reported across six states, and the risk is still high today. Odyssey New York meteorologist Craig Allen. Almost 7 million people have to worry about the possibility of tornadoes from lower portions of Delaware, Maryland's eastern shore, down through Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Virginia, Chesapeake, Richmond, Virginia, Newport News, Virginia as well. Warnings also in effect for high winds, flooding, and possible winter storms. Search and rescue efforts are underway in Taiwan, which got hit this morning with its strongest earthquake in 25 years. At least nine people have died, more than a thousand are injured, and people are still missing under mountains of debris. CBS's Imtiaz Tayyip has the latest. The earthquake that was so powerful, some buildings tipped onto their sides. In fact, in the eastern coast of Hualien City, the epicenter of the quake, rescue workers had to use cranes to free people stuck inside damaged buildings. The storm so strong it set off tsunami warnings in Japan, China, and the Philippines. Israel says it regrets killing foreign aid workers in an airstrike in Gaza. Government spokesman Alana Stern. Every war is very difficult, it's very messy, it's very dangerous, and it has ca casualties that we would all rather not have on the Israeli side and on the Palestinian side. Here at home, inflation's still top of mind for the Federal Reserve, but Fed Chair Jerome Powell says there's still a lot of work to do. CBS's Christopher Cruz reports. Powell said he expects the Fed will lower interest rates before 2025. My colleagues and I continue to believe that the policy rate is likely at its peak for this tightening cycle. Powell said he's determined not to act too quickly. Reducing rates too soon or too much could result in a reversal of the progress we've seen on inflation. The Fed meets again later this month. Tonight's Powerball jackpot's a big one. Lotto players across the country are scurrying to purchase Powerball tickets with hopes of striking it rich <laughs> by winning the whopping $1.09 billion jackpot. Tonight's drawing the 40th since the last winner on New Year's Day. This woman had a surprising answer on what she'd do if she won. I'd give a billion dollars away because seriously, there's how many people in the world who are hungry and are looking for a home and need medical help. CBS's Mad Piper reports tonight's drawing also the fourth largest in Powerball history. This is CBS News. Sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Protect your home and auto. Save when you bundle. Get a quote at Progressive.com. That's Progressive.com. Let's face it, nothing makes you look older than you really are than thinning hair. But what if you could not only increase your hair count, but promote new hair growth without surgery, without drugs with potential side effects, and without a prescription from your doctor? Well, now you can, thanks to a breakthrough new supplement called Hair Grow. Provided by New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Europe. Hair Grow is now available in the U.S. Only Hair Grow contains Tokogaya, a powerful antioxidant that has received a U.S. patent. Multiple clinical studies show hair grow is safe and effective in promoting new hair growth. In one study, 95% of the patients using hair grow saw increased hair count. Don't lose more time and more hair. Try hair grow today to feel and look your best. Just go to newnordicusa.com or visit Walgreens or Amazon to purchase. Look younger and feel more confident with hair grow by New Nordic at newnordicusa.com. In case you missed it, the White House wants NASA to create a new time zone for the moon. The idea is to formulate a plan by the end of 2026 for a standard that will be called Coordinated Lunar Time. The differing gravitational force can change how time unfolds relative to how it's perceived on Earth. The same clock that we have on Earth would move at a different rate on the moon. Among other things, the new standard would provide a timekeeping benchmark for lunar spacecraft and satellites that require extreme precision. Steve Kathan, CBS News. George Carlin's estate has agreed to a settlement with the media company it sued over a fake hour-long comedy special. Cancer is just one of many, many, many methods God created out of thin air in order to murder you. It used AI to recreate the late comedian's style and material. Carlin is considered one of the most influential stand-up comedians of the 20th century. He died in 2008 at 71. Monica Ricks, CBS News. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheets. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheets. 
Smelling fresher than ever? It's the she eat. Oh, so soft fabric. Ooh la la. It's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes. You know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Store Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. We fix garage doors fast and with quality parts designed to last a lifetime. Replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home. Call A1 Garage today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. Are you ready? Jamie Markley, David Van Camp, and Scott Robbins. We just become best friends. Yep. Making sense of it all. Now I get it. And having some fun. Lighten up, Francis. This is the Markley, Van Camp, and Robbins Show. The Markley, Van Camp, and Robbins Show. Jamie Markley, David Van Camp, Scott Robbins, out today, planned, should be back tomorrow. Okay, David, you can see it all over the place. People are getting fed up with the illegal immigration problem. You're talking big cities. Oh, yeah. And and they're tired of being uh, subject to gaslighting. They're tired of being lied to all of the time that, oh, just shut up and take it. Yeah. I mean, being called racist and being called racist, no matter the color of your skin, by the way, doesn't matter. Oh, no. Uh, a lot of black Americans in big cities are being called racist yeah. because they have a problem with illegal immigration taking their services. And it, which is very odd because, as Scott mentioned on Monday, you know, on Sunday, in addition to being Easter and, of course, Trans Day of Visibility, <laughs> it was Cesar Chavez Day mm-hmm. and a big time labor guy. Uh, and he was very anti illegal immigration. And yet, it's interesting, isn't it? A lot of Democrats celebrated him on Sunday. Well, I mean, sooner or later, the left eats itself. Well, that that's absolutely true. Now, I, we've been playing various clips from this lady who showed up at the Chicago City Council meeting uh, to talk a uh, middle-aged to young-ish uh, Asian lady uh, who was just kind of incensed and had had it with being told that your concerns don't matter. And uh, she does it in such a sort of calm, factual way. Yeah, and she just, to their face, called out the local leaders who are prioritizing illegal immigrants over citizens. Yeah. And we have the Committee on Immigrant and Refugee Rights, headed by anti-American alderman Andre Bosco. Yeah! Okay. They really throw around those friendly terms, but I like to call them what they are, the pro-criminal committee. Oh! The anti-American committee. Yeah! Everyone recognizes that something evil is among us. And Americans are not ready for the fundamental impact this will have. Again, if you just played little clips of this person. Yeah. And you had media members, guess who is this? This is some right-wing rally. Right. Uh, not even close. In fact, we can't even fathom it because we've never seen anything like this. Right. Yeah. We have an administration that is run by criminals who hate America. Yes. Yes. Why they protect these criminals. Yes. Yes. And we have a government that uses language to weaponize the masses. Mm-hmm. They're not illegal aliens, they're asylum seekers. Right. They're all refugees. Right. And they throw these terms around so that the people of America feel guilty. Because nobody wants to be a bad person. We all aim to be good. But there's a distinction between goodness and tolerance. And unfortunately, I believe the majority of Americans are not acting out of the spirit of goodness but rather out of the spirit of cowardliness and religion. Yes. Wow. You know, the Biden White House sees this and the campaign. They're going to be terrified. They can't lose the vote of these people. Not for people, but to destroy America. These groups are enemies of America. How many illegal aliens are you housing in your home, Vasquez? Uh Uh-oh. Use your own money. Yeah. Okay, the whole speech, the one lady that is either she's running the video or she's right next to it. Yeah. Uh oh. The call is my response. favorite 
piece of the whole thing. How many illegals are you housing in your home, Vasquez? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I still got that cough. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like the call and response thing. <laughs> like, I'd kind of like to hire that lady to just sit in the studio all day. So whenever somebody says something kind of funny or maybe over the line or a, li or a little bit or something, we just have somebody go, uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> that would be great. Oh. You know what? We won't even tell Robbins that's coming. He's back tomorrow. He starts <laughs> ranting about something. Uh oh. <laughs> That would be a lot of fun. Okay, meanwhile, this number is, I say crazy all the time. I don't know what else. Unfathomable? Dude. So, uh, for the first time ever, uh, you're, now again, this, the jumping off point is talking about elite universities. The okay. cost of uh, high-end universities is now topping out at $95,000 a year. A number of private colleges, uh, and not all elite, I should say, private colleges, some of them are middle of the pack. You know, I don't, you know, again, I'm, I'm not, I don't run in those circles. I, I don't have a judgment one way or the other. Right. Uh, at this point, I'm thinking, if you're spending $95,000 a year to go to Harvard, you're a dumbass. But, because yep. Harvard has lost its shine. But, uh, now, a number of private colleges have exceeded the $90,000 a year threshold for the first time as they're setting their annual cost for tuition, board meals, and other expenses. Um, now, of course, colleges are coming out and saying, well, I mean, but that the sticker price is only telling part of the story. We have financial aid available. Record amount of financial aid. Which Dude, that was all over, like, NBC, ABC, making those points. Yes, and still, the, it would show that what, for those that graduate, you will make more. For those that graduate. Yeah. How often have we seen at these, quote, elite universities, in the name of equity, you've got students that come in there that can't handle the workload. And then they have to drop out. And yeah. you're just saddled with the debt. Oh, yeah. Doesn't it, talk about those kids. But also, I'm kind of wondering, I mean, th this feels like the, the pyramid scheme that um, yeah. medical establishments and the insurance companies have, where it's like, yeah, these three Tylenol cost you $2,700 or whatever. Well, right. the insurance is going to pick up that. You're just going to have to cover the copay or whatever. And, I mean, it, it just feels like you're there. there's just a giant pot of money that they're just kind of shifting around. Because if they're saying that the vast majority of students will not pay $95,000 a year or whatever to go to that school, mm -hmm. then why is the cost set that high? Why? That's a great question. But if you're saying we're not expecting that revenue to come in, then what's the point in setting the cost that high? Oh, could it be because you don't actually operate in a world where basic economics actually functions? It's a scam. You're going to get your money. Oh, of course. And the elites will get their money. And there'll be other people that will be out. That's the way it ends up. It's a rigged game. But but then, as this rolls out, the Biden administration, through the Department of Education, has been trying to provide more federal assistance uh, to do this. And, and colleges, before they decide what kind of financial aid they, are, they themselves are going to issue, they want to see what other forms of financial aid a student can get before they say, okay, we'll knock this much off the cost. Um, there's a new initiative to try to roll out more financial aid. However, an online form that was rolled out that was supposed to make applying for federal aid easier hasn't worked. Uh, major problems with the rollout. Uh, one guy, a financial aid expert, uh, quoted by NBC News, Mark uh, Kantrowitz. I'm sorry, this is the Associated Press. Uh, Mark Kantrowitz. Uh, said the rollout has been pure chaos and an absolute disaster. There are also more stringent requirements for proof of identity from parents, which is deterring thousands of eligible but undocumented parents from applying, <laughs> even if their children are U.S. citizens and entitled to aid. They don't want to uh, submit their information. They don't know if it's legal. They don't know if somebody's going to come knocking down the door, all of that. I mean, it is just an absolute disaster what's happening um and it, again it, 
it's just shocking to see how much it's it's gone up. And I, I graduated from college, well, oh, geez, uh, 15 years ago-ish. Sounds right. Um, 09? Yeah. And even where I went to school, which was a state school, not an elite institution, I, the costs associated with that, I would never have been able to afford it. Right. And there yet are, are still kids signing up for that stuff because they're taking out these massive loans. This is a That's giant scam. And you have the Democrats constantly saying, we have to forgive this student loan debt. <laughs> yet we support 95 grand per year. Yeah. Go ahead and go to school, and we're going to do everything we can to help you get aid so that you won't have to pay it in the future. Doesn't anybody see that? No. Like, wait a second. There's something completely wrong going on here. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, the people that are benefiting from it, they don't want that gravy train to oh, stop. I made the comparison before, man. I mean, if you had a realty group going into high schools and telling soon-to-be 18-year-olds, legal adults, hey, sign on this dotted line, and we will sell you a 100000 or uh, let's say $200,000 uh, house. Now, you can't sell it, by the way. You can't get a profit off of it, by the way. But if you live in this neighborhood, maybe you'll get a better job and you'll be able to afford the payments. But right now, you know, you're, you're going to be saddled with this debt for the rest of your life until you pay it off. Um, that realty group would be shut down and the leaders of it would be thrown in prison for fraud. Yep. But we allow Harvard, we allow the University of Texas, we allow University of Oregon. I mean, pick a school. We allow them yep. to do that to 18-year-olds every day. Yes, absolutely. Well, and the thing is, you just can't put a price tag on the college experience. No, well, unless you're a university, <laughs> in which case you damn well do put a price tag on it. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is not just belabor the point. But remember, uh, this was especially when I was in high school. Uh, when the global war on terror was just getting, you know, rolling and all of that, there were a lot of news stories at the time about some very shady military recruiters who mm -hmm. were telling people things that were not true about what they could expect in their military life, about what kind of benefits they could get. Right. They were they were getting they were getting screwed, and that was a controversy and well deserved controversy. Sure, by the way. I'm not out there defending any of those people. Yeah. Universities do that to infinitely more people every single year to it's the same point. age group. It's a great point, man. Boy, oh, boy. Well, speaking of universities, oh, here was the update on this one from LSU. Might have heard, yes, the other night, huge basketball game. Iowa beats LSU to go to the women's Final Four. And a reporter asked the LSU coach, Kim Mulkey, after the game, hey, uh, you guys weren't out there for the national anthem. And he knew they hadn't been out there in earlier games either. He said, uh, you know, was there a reason?